Welcome to the club. My club are mental, aren't they? 21 is coming. You're chatting gas. <laughs> Embarrassing. Oh, f off ref! Most toxic fan base in the world are Arsenal. Liverpool, the worst champions ever. <laughs> The new season is upon us. Welcome to the club, brought to you by Super Six. How are you, lads? Very, very good. Good to see you. How are you doing, lads? I'm uh, lads. I'm ads. Um, I'm ads. good though. Uh, yeah, good to see you, boys. It's great to be back. I've been buzzing for this, you know. Really excited. Yeah. Probably helps that my team hasn't played yet, so I've still got that pre-season optimism that everyone has. Twenty-one is coming, all that stuff. But <laughs> I've been excited to get back involved with you, boys. Obviously, last week. We did the first podcast all back together, which was great fun. Thank you to everyone that tuned into our predictions and stuff. And yeah. Did ooh, well that, didn't it? Those Brent, predictions. Yeah, we were trending in that. Number we three. Trending. I think that, that was because of my predictions. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, wow. We're God, watching the back God. end of Brentford Spurs, by the way. Oh, the two, two. Bees. <laughs> Come on, the bees. You forgot what they were then. Well, it? no. Do you know what? I don't like really calling them the bees because I'm, they're not the bees, are they? Barnet are the bees. Barnet yeah, are the bees. I've never seen a red and white bee. No. Yeah, nor no, have I. And therefore, I don't really like calling them. Of course, oh, I... Oh, 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 can oh, I again? Oh, ref! The ball's gone in it. You're never getting that out. Wow. Uh, that Vicario's all over the place. Yeah, he is. He's, he's having a man. Crazy. Spurs, Spurs I was, I, when I saw their, their front line today and we saw Madison, Kulusevsky's son. Who else? Richardson. I was, I was thinking, that's a good team, you know. That's a good... Good attacking good lineup. You've got Basuma in there now, who's had a decent game for them today. The trouble is, though, you can do that with Tottenham. You can pick individuals and you can say that they're, they're they're good players. You can also pick the five best players on their team, in their squad, and say that they're good. But it's so much more than that. It's so much bigger than that. As soon as you start expanding it to the whole team, as soon as you start expanding it to the manager or the full squad, suddenly it looks quite... There's a lot of gaps, put it that way. There's a bear. lot of gaps in the team, yeah. And you look at, look at Newcastle now, what they did yesterday. I mean, we'll talk about right. it later in the stream. I mean, we've got Newcastle as a kind of new arrival to City, Man United, Liverpool, mm. Arsenal. I mean, Spurs are so far behind. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Know, already think... dropped points. You know, they've already dropped points in a relatively well, the tough The game's game. not finished yet. And I do think you give, over, you've got right? to give the manager some time. I think with the positivity that it will bring. You know, like when... Mourinho left United. It was like anyone comes in with a little bit of positivity, you're gonna have some mm. some some a, a positive impact on the team. I think Ange Postecoglou could do all right this season, and by all right, I mean just get them back into those European spots, get them back. What seven? In a I don't see, I don't see how they. I don't see how they have a better finish than they did last year. They've lost their best player, not only their best player now, their best player of the last <laughs> thirty years, and we expect them to have a better season when everybody else around them have. What improved. you've got to hope is, <laughs> as a Spur, if you were a Spurs fan. Is Richarlison picks up some of the slack. Son picks up some some of the slack. He had a poor season last season. Terrible. Well. He'll, Both of them. He'll be expected to get more goals. Madison immediately creates more goals, and I think the the, the just the contrast of them playing the massively defensive football to now playing a more attacking football. Obviously, we wonder how that will impact their defense, which is already shaky. Mm. But that should add goals. You're being so generous, Dad. Anyway. You're being no, so generous. Playing attacking football should oh, add oh goals God. to the team. No. <laughs> That's the difference. Isn't really, it? For some reason, I really wanted him to score there. Just for the sake of uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> the point you were making. The point you were making would have, would have worked really well there. Mate, Lovely I little mean, through ball I mean, from Madison. I mean, yeah. Spurs had Mourinho. They had Conte. They've had some incredible managers down the years. You've got Ange Postecoglou in the, in the pre-match kind of press conference talking about his fantasy lineup. I mean, I've, the whole thing is just so tin pot. He's, you, he's a decent lad. He's a nice lad that you'd want down Weatherspoons. That's that's what he is. I, Do you know what I mean, I, get the, them the, back into the Champions League. The no thing way. that I think's so interesting about Postecoglou, there seems to be this real fervour among Tottenham fans. They seem to, you know, oh, he's he really gets the club. He's a perfect man for the job. I'm like, hang on a minute, you didn't want that. Like, he wasn't your first choice. He was a long way from your first choice. Nagelsmann, that's all I kept hearing from my mates who were talking about him. Nagelsmann this, Nagelsmann that. Suddenly, Postacoglu comes in and like, yeah, he's the man. He's Just the, because he's, he's the not man. the first choice, though, doesn't mean it's the wrong choice. Or it doesn't mean that it can't work. No, but it means that, it means that there is... There is a lot of jeopardy around bringing in somebody like Postacoglu, and Tottenham fans now aren't acknowledging that jeopardy, to me. Mm. When I'm having conversations, they're like, no, no, he's the right I man. He's is. definitely the right man. Like, hang on a minute, you weren't saying that. Because you didn't think he was the right man when he was be when there was speculation but about. Him don't we all do that as football fans though? We kind of readjust our expectations once kind of no, decisions are it, not maybe not expectations. You you kind of yeah. I maybe there was a point in time where I never ever wanted Jose Mourinho, but then he comes in and you're like, 
Oh, you never know. I think you, can, I think I you can embrace. I think <laughs> you can embrace. Long, I think you can embrace the the situation. I think that you can make the best of the situation, or you can genuinely enjoy the situation without kind of kidding yourself that it was what you always wanted. Mm. Like when, look, I'm very happy with Mauricio Pochettino. Genuinely, am. I think that he's conducted himself brilliantly. But I wanted Luis Enrique. It would be ridiculous for me to now go. Pochettino was always. But there's, no, but there's no reason why. And I think you already have, like, you can't get behind him. No, 100%. Him and I, praise him for the positives. Totally. Been... It's the rework. It's the it's the rewriting of history I'm finding quite frustrating. Like, Postacoglu has come in, and they're, they're suddenly talking about him as if he is, like, so perfect See, I don't follow the really talking many, about many Spurs Wenger. fans. You know, it's the Arsene Wenger, Wenger thing, because of what obviously he came from Japan as oh, well. It's, like, crazy to me. from Madison there, Fenn. Oh, Oh, wow. But that's kind of like when we got Moyes and everyone's like, is Scottish Fergie Scottish? Same thing. Yeah. It's, 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 it's like, no, it's not the same yeah, thing. I don't know, man. Just because yeah. it feels like the same thing. It's <laughs> not. Spurs fans expect it because they're different. I mean, everyone else has got a world-class manager. Mm. And because Postacoglu isn't, but he's a bit more boisterous, he, the difference will be, the, you know, that difference will make up the difference in the points. It's just like me. I it, think there could be a better team, though, this season. A better team. The, 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 I don't think they'll ever have a player as, as good as Harry Kane, quite clearly, but... They could be a better team. I don't think they can be a better team without Kane. I just don't. I just. It seems so baffling and almost like creative to go. Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to take the best footballer out of the team, and we're going to be a better team. Like mm. that's just not how. Unless they spend the money, that, that you know, they're happen. not spending. The, where are the links from Spurs today? There should well, be so I many. Think they need a centre back. We're signing replacements. I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, the, they've I, left it so late in the window. Daniel Levy's like, put himself wait, ahead of the club. They've brought in a lot of players, you know. Yeah, but like they have, they, they, they have, a Gold lot have arrived. A lot of a lot of players have arrived. Whether they're the right signings, whether it's Madison's exactly a good what... player, but he needs three or four around him. Look at Newcastle signing <laughs> Tonali, and then before that was Bruno the, the season and Trippier before that. Mm. Oh. Spurs should be doing that. Yeah, I think it's going to be interesting. But I don't care. I, 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 all, all, I, all I'm saying with Tottenham, I don't I hate Spurs. Don't That's why I think I don't I have a dog in the fight. The biggest really game every season: City beating City, getting three points off City is the is the, the Spurs yeah, Cup every season. Yeah, that's why you hate them. They beat you every season. Yeah, aren't the they? Spurs Cup. Well done. I just don't see how how they oh. come anywhere <laughs> close to improving, losing their best manager and everyone else around them has improved. I think like Chelsea I, should be better. I this think season. they could come top uh, bottom half next season. No, no. See, that's stupid. Why? Why? They were eighth last season. They've lost their best player. They finish above eighth. Season. They, no. they, 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 At who, the very least, they finish eighth. I think they could finish eighth. I don't see how they improve on. I it. think they finish. They're in a battle with Forest, seventh, sixth. Forest, uh, Burnley. Also, Chelsea. Yeah, Chelsea are the the in a battle with Forest and Burnley. They are. They're, they're not, not in a battle. Burnley are a better total side. And look, their business is not done yet. They could still go out and get a strike. Yeah, Daniel Lee will go out and sign someone for two quid and make a profit. See, on the in my game. head, I'm saying the positive comes from, or the improvement comes from, if Son steps up. Madison steps, and I think they can. Those they, those players have got a huge opportunity because Spurs. Uh, look, we all kind of laugh at them, and they're not winning. They're not a winning team or anything like that. But these lads have got a huge opportunity here. So Harry what? Kane's left. I think that takes some pressure off the manager. You're the first manager to go in there without Harry Kane. That's true, You've also yeah. the first manager without that obstacle over your, that that you know shadow over your head of is he going to leave? Is he not? Get go over, that should galvanize that dressing room because footballers they're not going to think about of it like how we think about it. Oh, Harry Kane's gone. Spurs are finished. Footballers are going to be cocky like, you know, like boxers all think they're the best in the world. They're all going to be like, I can step forward and replace him. That's why, how they should you, react. I don't Whether they do or not is another how thing. they'll react. I think that if you are Son, you're going to go, oh, tight. It, <laughs> oh, tight. He was really, <laughs> he was really good. Please don't take him away. So that's exactly what Son's going to say. You know what's funny? Say just you like know that. you just said that? <laughs> there, was this, swang. there was this apparent clip of Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. on Twitter. Has anyone seen it? And it's apparently one of his mates from probably when he played in Manchester because he was part of United's Academy saying to him in like a man accent, oh, I'm going to come over and see you in Saudi Arabia soon. And he says, I'm not going to be here that long. But that's not the point. At the end of it, Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. in this thing goes, say moms. And it's like, wait, is that Cristiano? You know, like, say mom's life. Like, say moms, which is this. Like, what is now. that? I've never heard that. Means. No, I don't know what that means. No, what I mean. That's what he says. It? Yeah, like, what is it? What is it? How what is, is this Cristiano slang Ronaldo Jr. speaking say like mums. bank slang? Yeah. What does that mean? Like, oh, it's swear on your mom's thing. life. You know, oh, like, oh, I see. Swear on your mom's life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, say yeah, moms. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. And it's just like, what? That was just a random thought I had. Anyway, the game's finished 2 2. Um, That's two points dropped already for Andrew. Did anyone have that in Super Six? I don't I, think so. I did not, annoyingly. I had two one Spurs. But it's still very important to join our mini league. Make sure that you get the app. The Super Six app 
is all you need. It's totally free to play. Make sure that you get the Super 6 app and then you find our mini league. The code is CLUB23. You join it totally for free and you can win loads of money. It's brilliant. I am not doing particularly well at the moment, annoyingly. How are you two boys getting on? I'm doing okay. Uh, I checked last night. I'm going to check in a minute. Um, but let's have a look. I got one bang we're on. All on we're all on seven points, you know. Yeah, I got Bournemouth West Ham spot on. Uh, a couple of other results. Uh, I thought actually Everton were going to start better than they have done. Um, of course, we've got Chelsea Liverpool to come. I'm expecting a one all draw. But the 5-1 Newcastle Villa, that is absolutely crazy. I thought Villa were going to nick a 1-0 win. Yeah, we go. I'm I am gutted. Can I just say, a moment ago, I said to you, please get the Super 6 app and make sure that you join our mini league. The, cu- the code is CLUB23. Please make sure that you do that right now. It's very important to us that you join. It really helps us out. So please consider doing it. Um, can I see my predictions, please, up on the screen right now? Them on the screen. Look at that. Brighton, Luton. Look at that. Totally and utterly. It's a great picture, by the way, mate. A funny, funny facial expression. I'm not quite sure what like I'm up to there. Smile. Not quite sure what I'm doing there. Um, you were definitely about to say something then. Do you know what? Do you know what? Yeah, I was mid sentence, clearly. <laughs> and, and Ginger Jack. What were you saying? You pe- I was probably Shut saying up, something Jack. like Tottenham, something about Tottenham. <laughs> and do you know what I've done here? I've made a massive error. I've said that Tottenham are going to win a game. I'm never going to make that mistake again. Um, but we all went two one. I've first. gone for che- in terms of in terms of our our mini league of us three. What have you got for the Chelsea result? I have one. Got, you've got one or I've one got all. two one Chelsea. Yeah, I've got uh, my, I've got two ones Chelsea. And look, oh, you, that's annoying. We can't change them now either. And these are the most five most popular predictions for this afternoon's game, actually. 2-1 Liverpool is 22.9%. Uh, yeah. People have gone 2-1 Liverpool. 1-1, uh, 19.5%. 2-2, little Desmond at 14.2%. 2-1 to Chelsea, which is myself. You mm. Yeah, me as well, yeah. 10.5% agree with us. And Chelsea won. Liverpool 3 is 7.4%. And do you know what's really important to remember? If you finish top of the club's official Super 6 mini league this oh round, days. you will... Pardon? All my days, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Can you not? When I'm, mid, say, I'm mid-sentence here, rather than just chiming I'm just, in. I'm just I'm so... Oh, mid-sentence. my days. I'm just so shocked by this prize. It's amazing. That's a, it's crazy. Do you want to do it? <laughs> if you finish top of the club's official Super 6 mini league this round, you will get a 1,000... Pounds because we currently have 5,900 entries. The current leader is Jack Jenny. Oh, is he related to you? Is he related to you? Something's going on here. Is he related to you? Well, 19 points. So make sure that you join the mini league. Remember, if you finish top of our league, there is a bag of sand totally up for grabs and it will not cost you a penny. I think pay. that's Rory entering in all of his family's name. <laughs> <laughs> He's just got them all I up. think we need a number to work to today. Should we say 7,000 by the end of the stream? 7,000 in the Super 6. Make sure you join Club 23. And just to let everybody know, sadly, this week, there is no million pound jackpot winner. Nobody has got the million pounds, which is a bit of a shame. Because I really hope that somebody across the game... I was going for it you know so what, I could retire you, from the club do you, do you know what, never have to do it ever do again. Do you know what I reckon ruined it? Do you know, do you know why That'd nobody's getting a million quid? Because of Newcastle United. I reckon that is the one that has scuppered yeah. everybody. No, nobody no one put that. five. No one put nobody, five. Nobody. They were incredible. Five. They were incredible. They, they but don't, really... don't you think people are getting Hang carried away with the first weekend result? Do you want to know what's amazing? Villa are tough. 200. You won't believe this. 266 people... In the game of Super Six, got that particular score correct. Five one. I was going to put five one. I just I, I wanted to be realistic. What I was going to put, put five one. Can't remember, but it was a little bit less than five one. <laughs> yeah, I I put nil nil. Nil nil. I put one nil Villa. I thought Villa were going to nick it. I thought I was on for my two two when um, Villa equalised. I thought here we go. Mm, nice Newcastle get a goal. Yeah. Second half, though, they fell apart, didn't they? Power Torres with a baptism of fire. Lyrical blow to the jaw. <laughs> 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 Pow. Uh, there we go. But um, no, we are ever grateful to Super 6 and we have partnered with them for the entire season. So thank you so much, everyone at Super 6. And make sure that you join our mini league, Club, Club 23. 20. Yes. Right, for future reference, Mr. McCullough, no, but when I'm mid-sentence and that, you need to stop being my like... No, DJ Luck MC. Yeah, yeah, that's me and you. <laughs> yeah. Just, just chipping in. You're the hype man. I do, uh, I do enjoy it. But big game now. Chelsea Liverpool. Ma- how many people are alive, by the way? Have we got any numbers? I want to. How many people are alive? Four thousand people. Wow. We're live. Like in 4K. the stream and please subscribe. We're trying to get two hundred fifty thousand pounds. Uh, subscribers. <laughs> I'm He's got to, money I'm, on I'm, the money. I'm trying to make yeah. my mum proud. She, I said to hey. her, I'm going to get hit one hundred fifty k. The man on your money subscribe and your money on your mind. mum. <laughs> subscribe for my mum. Okay, she wants to get one hundred fifty k on the club. What can I say? 
that was that dream. Thousand pounds. That'd Mate, be great. You're obsessed with it, that'd be you? great. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Um, yeah. So fantastic. Chelsea, Chelsea, Liverpool. Though this is, it's amazing, really, to start the season. Like, there's always a spring in your step when it, when the new season starts, regardless of who you're playing. You know, it's always a special day in the football calendar. And I'm kind of conditioned now for my year. This is, this feels like this is like Christmas Day, New Year's Day. Yeah. Like you know when you know when we celebrate New Year's Eve. Yeah. I do it because those around me recognise that as a new year. Like my wife celebrates New Year. I'm conditioned because of my love for football that my year exists August to May. Yeah. 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 So today I've got like that new new vibe. Yeah, yeah. Anything Christmas is possible. New Year, new me. New Year, new me. Is well, it look, New Year, new Chelsea? Let's have a look at yes. the team. I want you to know. I want to know what you think about this. Um, Sanchez in goal. Good news. Dezassi. Mm-hmm. Silva, mm-hmm. Colwell, Reese James and Chilwell are your wing backs. Three five two. Enzo, it. Connor Gallagher, Chukwemeka, Sterling, and Miss Jackson up top. What do you think of Chelsea's eleven? I'm surprised. I'm I'm surprised because on preseason we had a really successful preseason, and we mm-hmm. had committed to this like four two three one, which was the, everything that Pochettino was building towards. So I am surprised that we've gone for this five at the back. I feel like it could be born out of. The horrific news was so unlucky. Unkunku's injury. Mm. Mm. Like, do you know he's out? Like, to the they, new year, basically. January. They, yeah, new year. Because <clears> uh, what I read, the report I read said 16 weeks. So I counted 16. And it takes us to like November. But I was thinking in November, he'll then have to like do a preseason. Mm. So it's unlikely that we'll that we'll see him this year. But it's just such a shame. That stupid Matt Hummels, man, on the sand. Do you see it? Yeah, turned him around, didn't he? On the sand. Like this stupid pitch, stupid <laughs> Dortmund, stupid Hummels. By, sorry, by sand you mean stupid. the pitch was based in sand? It's like a sand-based pitch. The pitch was cr- so poor. The, right. the pitch quality was. It happened at Stamford yeah, Bridge once. Actually. We one. played Charlton in the sand years ago, but the the pitch was sand, and, and Kunku's done his knee, and like, I don't know if. What's your I'm confidence probably going in Sterling and Jackson? Because Jackson's quite young, isn't it? Not Ster- Sterling. I, I think there was. Do you know this is going to sound crazy? Mm. But you know there was genuine. Thoughts like when when I was predicting the lineup with like my mates in a group, there was a lot of suggestion. Like m- I was surprised that Mudrik hasn't featured, and I think he would have done. Like Mudrik has featured a lot in preseason, and I expected him to start. But a couple of people had left out Sterling in favour of Matson. Like that's that's the stock that Sterling's um... Matson and, and Mudrik are on the bench. <laughs> Um, Liverpool's eleven: Allison in goal, Robertson, Van Dijk, Canate, Trent, Shabaslai, McAllister, Hakpo, Jota, Diaz, Salah. It's just goals. You know what weird that that, that, that size? Wait, so that? they're playing what one DM that? and they're playing uh, Saboslai a little bit higher up. Jota Who's dropping DM in Gakpo, then? McAllister by himself. F- from my understanding, yeah. so unless it's a, th- a weird three with Tr- it might Trent, it might be Trent dropping in midfield, it'll but be Trent. It's, it's a strange. The, ring, the thing with Sterling is, I think Pochettino that is needs wild. to rely on experience. It's all well and good. Look, look at your bench as well. So many young players at Chelsea. You do need experience. No, Opening you, game of the Premier League. Well, stand for you say that. You I get what that. you're saying in terms of pure form. You're bang on. But there's a moment where a ball will come to you. You need a bit of Sterling's no, but experience. Do, do you know what, though, with Sterling? If you think of the discrepancy between Sterling's form for Chelsea and his wage. Like he's the highest paid mm. player at the club. I know it's Lukaku, but I, I don't count him. I don't, I don't, I don't recognise Romelu Lukaku anymore. So... I think that Sterling needs to. Yeah, yeah I, I would, I would, I would cross the road. <laughs> I think that Sterling needs to really elevate his performances and really contribute to the team. But I also don't think that he necessarily deserves a place in the starting lineup. And I quite like. Mm. You know, you know what you were saying there about um, you need the experience. Mm. I'm inclined to agree with you, but mm. what I'm going to say basically is Arsenal Football Club last season, youngest team in the league. You had Jack in there. You know, and they've got rid of him at the right time. Yeah, at I mean, points, we've, we've got Thiago needs... Silva. We've got, we've got... If you can get... What I'm trying to say is, if you can get Sterling on side early mm. into a bit of form, that massively elevates you versus a young kid that could have a bit of form, mm. then drop off, then have a bit of form, then drop off. Yeah, With true. Sterling, you, you've got a known quantity. He could be fit for 40 games a season, help you massively The problem with Sterling, though, like, okay, his CV... Look, I like Sterling, and I was really happy when we signed him. I thought it was an excellent signing, and the fact that Guardiola didn't really want to lose him, I just thought it was going to go well. But... He hasn't delivered that. Like it's been, no, of course, it's don't been get me wrong. really I, I bad. Think he's been terrible, but and it makes it know. hard for me to argue against Sterling, particularly to a Man City fan, because his CV makes my argument almost mm. redundant. Yeah. So anybody watching this is probably going, Matson, what are you talking about, Rory? It's got to be Sterling, or even Mudrick, what are you talking about, Rory? It's got to be Sterling. 
Whereas I'm thinking... Yeah, but Poch has got to gamble. On, he's got to gamble anyway. It's a tough job at Chelsea, in my mm. opinion. It's a really hard job. He's not gambling with another 50 million quid sign. He's gambling with youth from the academy. You can't have too many from the academy. No, you I know. Really but, can. but the thing is, this all now comes back to the Nkunku injury. Because Nkunku's, yeah, it might change Nkunku's, up, Nkunku's yeah. injury... I think if Nkunku had played today, and he was so vital to everything that we do in that position, like his link up with, with Jackson, his goal-scoring form in himself... I think if he had been available, we wouldn't be playing five at the back. Mm. But now he's not available. I wonder if we're going to have to buy someone else up front. I think you need. I think you're really, uh, despite the money you're spending. I mm. look at your starting level. I think you still got fifty year old Thiago Silva. You got a keeper who's bang average. You haven't sorted your keeper position out. No, we Kepa's have sorted. Going on. We have sorted. Is he long term for you, uh, Sanchez? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he must be because we've given him a. You don't give a backup oh, yeah. dancer a seven year contract, do you? Fine. So, but yeah. But then your midfield, I mean, there's just so many gaps there still. You're spending so much money. Even with Caicedo, if you were to sign him, it's absolutely By mental. the way, I must just interrupt you, Boovy. There is a king, Big Daz. Big Daz. Big Daz has left the super chat where he said, yes, lads, buzzing this season is back, which means so is the club. Thank you so much for watching, Big Daz. We are honoured that you would grace us with your present, you presence, you king. Thank you, mate. And we are, we reciprocate. We all feel incredibly yeah, I'm excited to be ourselves. Back, you know, I'm really excited to be back. I probably won't feel the same way we we'll have to come back if we lose tomorrow, but you know it'll be fun for you. You won't mate, lose tomorrow. We better not. Ten Hag spent four hundred million so quid. Why do you always no bring reason. up money when it's but ten? But that's on. the facts, isn't it? He spent four hundred million quid. You, you won't lose. Money when it's ten you won't lose. What do you mean? Well, Man United have got the most expensively assembled squad in world football. <laughs> ten Hag spent four hundred million quid. Of course, they won't lose. The, the, I'm, I'm telling stop you, don't say it. Yeah. Will you gonna, lose? We're going to win. Yeah, six you're nervous. Now. We're going to win <laughs> six now. Where is it? Old Trafford. We're going to slap them up. Six nil. What do you Shit, think? Why did I say what do you? What, what do you? Yeah, think? I think they'll slap them up seven nil. What's it? <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> they nil. Spent, but they spent how much? You spend on on uh, ha uh, Hoyland. He's not even available yet. Sure, yeah, so man. he's injured. So you spent seventy million quid on Hoyland, more than Haaland costs. You've got Pep Guardiola light managing Man United. You got Haaland light, and you're not confident about beating uh, Wolves. It's embarrassing. Mm, I'm. I. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't. You don't. I've got. I've got, I've got enough. I've got enough. Yeah, yeah. I've got enough to worry about at the moment. <laughs> I've got. I've got enough on my plate. Do you know? Do you know what I was just thinking there? Though? I was thinking about sort of the injuries that Chelsea have. I don't know if we're doing our due diligence, but you know, in Kunku's knee injury, okay, he was unlucky in that game against Dortmund, but it was the same knee injury that kept him out of the World Cup. You think of Fafana's knee injury. Knees are bad for footballers, aren't they? Like, if knees go, it's it's a worry. I'm now thinking, I don't know. I'm is a there fan of a club, though. Is there something wrong with... Ruben van Nistelrooy did his. We waited for a year and let him come, and he was amazing. I know, like, but Fafana always... did his. He came back, and he did it. <laughs> yeah, and Nkunku's <laughs> done his, missed the World Cup, and it's the same knee that's gone again. And it's such a shame, because he's looked so lively, you know. He's really looked like such oh, a... I think the managers do, maybe... I know your managers have changed in that period of time, but probably looked... You gain some loyalty there when you go, look. I'll stick around and wait for you, innit? Yeah. And probably get a cheaper price as well. Yeah, 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 potentially. Potentially. I just hope, obviously, we just need it. You know, we need it to come good because at the moment, our team is, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, it sounds ridiculous and I almost don't want to say it because I can just imagine what the comments are doing in the in the YouTube stream now. But despite signing a thousand players, I feel like we don't have enough players. Yeah, because you've had to let a lot of goals. So many gaps in that. Well, you and you've got a lot of injuries. Your midfield has got the Conor Gallagher for in it Farnham, still. Mate, you know, Talibab, Badi, Yashili, How's Conor Gallagher still playing football for you lot? I mean, it's not the no, standard. Gallagher's all right, man. <laughs> no, but he, yeah, he's all right. He's Palace. No, Palace no, no, right. no, no, no. Palace Gall all right. Uh, do you know, I disagree with you. I think there's there's room for a Conor Gallagher in every squad. Well, well, starting against Liverpool, you spent X hundred millions of pounds. No, not I mean, we're trying to sign Caicedo. So, so presumably Gallagher will then be slightly demoted. But we're not talking but about Chelsea in terms of you're not Crystal Palace. I mean, you're trying to compete with City, United, Liverpool, and Arsenal. Nothing and wrong. And he, he doesn't start for think, any of them. I don't think Gallagher's the issue. At Chelsea. It's just an example. He's a good player. I'm not trying to slag him up. He's top ten. I mean, but he's not starting for like, Chelsea. He should midfield. be a squad player. Yeah, but like, starting against Liverpool first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but then he started the season, isn't it? And they got, like we said, they got, yeah, a, lot of got a lot of. And they're about to address that with a oh. 115 million pound <laughs> signing. Yeah, I mean the con the con and apparently Lavia as well. This is mental. Do you know what I think that might be, though? And this would almost tap into it. I wonder if, because of the Nkunku injury, we're now not going to play 4-2-3-1. I mean, go forward. I don't just mean today. 4-2-3-1. We're going to play three in the middle, which will mean that we actually need more midfielders. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, we need... Look, I, I, I can't believe that Chelsea and Liverpool, regardless of who Caicedo actually ends up signing for, 
can come out of this situation. Nobody looks good. Nobody's after, after covered after themselves. Kaiseido, you've spent. I'm surely you spent like a billion in the last year. Yeah, you? not not quite a billion, but seven hundred yeah. million. Yeah, like why not? We spent we spent half a billion in one window, didn't we, in January? Mm. That's what I mean. Like, no. Do you know? Do you know what? Somebody far more intelligent than me would would have to go into this, but I don't even know if this is something we should do on the club. You know, we could maybe have a chat with the producers afterwards. But do you think we should get somebody on, and us three are just educated in the detail of? Like, are Chelsea totally ignoring financial fair play for a reason? And if we are ignoring it, what's the purpose and what's the future and what's the consequences? Because I feel like I feel like that's happening. And also, do you know, I saw a, a top line in, in uh, it might have been a Telegraph today. They're talking about Paris Saint-Germain, who, if you think Chelsea and, uh, aren't playing by the rules of FFP, Paris Saint-Germain have just total disregard for it. Mm. And yet Newcastle, stringently obedient to it. For now. And I... And I'd, I'd, I don't like talking about finances and I don't understand it and I don't spend my time thinking about it, really. I like football. I like goals that going off the bar. I like 50-50 tackles. I like clearing things off the line. That's where I get my buzz, so that's what I focus on. But if you want to do the money chat, maybe we should do a special on it because I just can't believe it's that on... Chelsea has spent this kind of money. Yeah, it's nuts. It's nuts. Um, can we just thank Lachlan Fox for joining the club? You have become a member of the club. Thank you very much for joining us. You guys that do join us will get like custom emotes, all different things thank like that. You. We'll be doing some exclusive content for members very, very soon as well. But thank you very much for joining. The That's Brown amazing. Club. I think they're super OGs if they join in that capacity. You're super OGs. <laughs> and I've had people come up to me this summer quoting the OGs. Yeah, they're saying I'm an OG like and all that. I know people so do fantastic. Like Thanks for supporting yeah. Were you just club? walking through Los Angeles? So I'm a triple OG. I'm an OG. You like, yeah, you watch the club. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had that, did you? No, no. no. Oh, I've right. been accosted. I had that in Amsterdam. It was amazing. Yeah, amazing. It's uh, beautiful city as well. Good. So, what are your How predictions? How high were you lads? when it happened? No comment. Uh, what are your predictions, Boovy? What did you say? I said one all. I said one all. Ideal result for Man City. That, and from a City perspective, obviously reigning treble winners and all that, looking to win four in a row. Are you watching this game through the lens of? title challengers, title competitors. Yeah, Liverpool certainly, and in my predictions, I sort of thought Liverpool <clears> and Arsenal will get really, really close. So do you want Chelsea to win off the back of that, or do you think Chelsea well, could launch I'm sat next to you, I want Liverpool to smash you, because it, yeah. it's funny. No, that's fair. I like but that. But then I'm weirdly... <laughs> no, no, so I, like, I rate, I rate it like that. Uh, do, <laughs> do, you know, I mean? do you know where I totally adopt that policy? Do you know how I always feel, like, especially when I was going to all the games? You know, like, say Chelsea on the last day of the season, this happened, right? We were playing Bolton. If Bolton had beaten us... Everton would go down. So a lot of people yeah, wanted yeah. us to lose to allow Everton to go down and Bolton stay out. I was like, no, no, no. I want them to go down. Like, they're here. <laughs> they're here. I can see their faces. I want them to go. Like, you just want to yeah. relegate whoever. Like, you know, if you had a say in who's going to win the league. Yeah. I just, unless it's Tottenham, I just want to make sure that the people who come to Stanford Bridge don't yeah. have a good day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just really you don't want them to win it at your ground. You don't want them to win it at your ground. No, no, no. That's not what and you like. do want them to get relegated at your ground. Regardless mm. of who or what. So you spent a billion quid in the last year. You got Sanchez in goal. <laughs> Yeah, I think Sanchez is you've an got, interesting I love one. That, I love how I said a billion right and now you're quoting it. You've got 40-year-old Thiago Silva. Colwell can I didn't cost ask, anything. Can I ask you play. to do something? Yeah. Can I just... You know when you talk about Chelsea players yeah. and you want to can put I, a bit can, of an edge? Can I continue? No, Reece no, James didn't cost anything. Uh, Conor Gallagher uh, didn't I'll, cost anything. I'll let you do. Enzo Fernandez, 120 million quid. Ben Chilwell costs 50. Mm-hmm. And you got... Uh, you can make up front fantastic, but 20 million quid. And Sterling, 50 million quid. Yeah. Right? And then I mean, you've got uh, up front uh, Jackson. This is really boring, chat. 19, because people 19, know that no, I'm giving the lineup money. for people that are loyally watching, <laughs> you're watching not, the stream. You're not giving the lineup. You've got you're just Jackson about up money. front. He scored nine goals last season. He spent 30 Manchester million quid. Really How have you spent a billion, billion, billion quid on that? Where's the money going? There's one. Manchester Our squad's fantastic and we win things. Your squad's fantastic. Don't win anything. And Chelsea have got neither. Without that, you'd be absolutely in the mud. I do think that you should. If possible. Oh, look, the banner's going wrong. Look at the banner over to Matthew Hardy in there. You see Reese James, he's gone From on the ben. squiffy. Is that because of the wind? <laughs> no, no, it's because the pit, people like pull it the back. Yeah, yeah. Do you think it's going to be tourist fans in that stand not knowing what no, to do? No, no, that'll be... That won't, no, that <laughs> I'm not saying be. that... Child, no, no, that's, see, that's an all-season ticket. That's, a, that's an all-season right. ticket holder stand. Um, my, my request to you, though, if yeah. you don't mind. Yeah. Yeah. I was a flog there to get... I find the money... If we're going to talk about money, I think it's quite boring to listen to. It's just one observation. But also, if you're going to if you're going to talk about... You've got to stop being snide to Thiago Silva about his age. He's so good. Yeah, that's not the point. You know I love no, Thiago no, Silva. No, you don't. I, I, you just I, I, went, no, you've no, got a 50-year-old Thiago yeah, Silva as a yeah, disrespect. You, this is, that's that. in the narrative, that? the amount of money you've spent. younger than me and Rory, so like, let's chill. No, he's not. Let's chill. Is that what you, 
No, I'm not saying either, 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 I can't say anything. I'm younger than... I'm definitely younger than Thiago Silva. Either, either way, just to give Thiago Silva... A, like, you know what I'm trying to say? You know what I'm trying to say? If you've got it. a 40-year-old starting for you... He's the, not 40 He's 40! Is, is, is he? He's Mate, no, yeah. get your football age correct. Oh, wait, correct. wait, wait, wait. Thiago Silva's wait, yeah, yeah, 40. We're, we're definitely you younger than... Yeah, you thought he was 35 or whatever. I thought he was like 32 or something. No, no, no. Thiago Silva. He's been around for a long time. He's been there a long time. He's been there a long time. But that's the point. Chelsea spent all that money and they've got a 40-year-old. He's Yeah, no, it's not... He said 50. He looks the business, doesn't he? He looks the business. He looks the business. Black on black on black. I like that. I like that. No, he is. He does look the busy. He, do you know what he does? He conducts himself like yeah, a manager. Yeah. He dresses and speaks. Yeah, he's the. I, I really wanted to punch at United. Yeah. Mm. yeah, He really, he really does own management. You know, like he owns, he owns it. Have you seen? Have you seen all this? You see how Chelsea's still without a sponsor. Yeah, what's that? You're going to go for um, a, a brand steak. that you can't have, right? In terms no, of no, there was a, there were a lot. So there was one. Hey, listen to this. So steak people can they sell meat, talk about the whatever they want. Um, do you know? Do you know Paramount? As in like Paramount Plus? That was our that was our sponsor. That was an agreed sponsor. Do you know we weren't allowed it? Yeah, because of the Premier League. Do you know? Do you know why? Because other providers of TV networks got the hump. So the yeah, yeah, I've heard about that. I yeah. get it. So the, like if you're Sky, BT, or whoever's paying. Yeah, but BT, TNT mate. If I put on, if I put on an episode of King of Queens, I'm not then thinking I won't watch. I won't watch the football. It's not the direct competitor. Yeah, is it? yeah, but I think. Yeah, but it's also like if they if if you're watching on Sky and you're seeing an advert basically for Paramount on someone's shirts and it is competition. Mm. Anyway, day, anyway, so that was one that was also they haven't paid. Those millions to be to the, all the yeah. other and all the other Premier League clubs will probably there's hold on something a there's something really yeah but your kit looks nice without a sponsor it's, I know I agree yeah, but we better. need the Fantastic. money yeah, yeah. we need the money do you know where, Forest, why do Forest do it without a sponsor? no they you they also they would need no no they they also overpriced there they also overpriced so they just who wants to sponsor too Forest to like come on Lidl more European cups than you lot yeah. We'll win another one this, <laughs> this season. We'll win another one this season. All right. We're one closer now. Yeah, you forgot about that, didn't you? <laughs> but yeah, I... Uh, right. I mean, nearly ever really forgot about I think Lidl should... Uh, why not the club? The club should sponsor Nottingham Forest. You know? Yeah, Farnborough Town have got pitch side. Yeah. So there's a lot about pitch side. They're, they're ninth tier. What are you doing? <laughs> Something wrong with you. Isn't Let's I? move on to the football. Uh, this is fantastic from Chelsea. It's a fresh season. It's unbelievable. We spent a billion quid. This Here we go. Fantastic this is football, Chelsea. lads. What this is, is beautiful. No, it's a beautiful kickoff. I was going straight out for a throw in. Flex like a lioness. There we go. Come on. He looks like a proper manager. Yeah. Pochettino looks Real like manager. Him. When you see Klopp in trackies and all that, it's embarrassing, isn't it? Joggers and all that. It's embarrassing. Yeah, who turned up to a cop final in a tracksuit? Tuchel. Pep does that as well sometimes. Um, why are you wearing his sto- Why are you wearing his Stone Tuchel, Island? Tuchel, Tuchel wore, a, wore a cap no, to lead square. Chelsea out of Wembley. Yeah, that's horrendous. Sorry. Terrific. You've got to wear a suit at Wembley. Horrific. And your home games, I think. I don't get it on the road. You're travelling on the coach and all that. What did Fergie do? Was that, was that what the situation so, yeah, was? Yeah, very rarely you saw Fergie in a little tracksuit. Mm. There was the odd occasion. Yeah, no, of course. But no, I I agree. I think that Pochettino really does look the part. And... Hey, hey, hey. Um, <laughs> one, one nil Liverpool here. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the problem with Liverpool. They've just got goals in the team, haven't they? Mm. Like, they've just got so many goals in the but team. But like when we right? looked at that team earlier, give the ball, give we the ball. Gallagher, you didn't see tackle. much defensiveness in that midfield, did you? Oh God, they started 100 miles an hour at Liverpool, haven't they? God. Mate, they're going to be amazing this season. Do you think? But, but if you but see a lack of midfield if you control see for goals me, to be yeah, out by himself. There's goals to be scored against the Liverpool team. Sky had yeah. Gakpo in midfield and Jota up front, so yeah. Gakpo dropping in, in midfield. It's, it's weird, that's an exposed it? midfield. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like, that's they need Lavia and, and you get Caicedo. The fact you're getting both is, is fantastic. You've cornered the market. And they've messed up as well because they bid for Caicedo without really knowing if he was on it to go to Liverpool. No, and ev- now ev- you've let ev- everyone everybody's, know. Everybody's minutes. made a pig's ear of it. Like, uh, B- Brighton wanted 100 million, right? Ages ago, and you could have just got him yeah. for a hundred million without any drama, just signing for a hundred million quid. Pa- paid paid a hundred million, he's your player. Go on pre season, all that. Everybody's waited. We've ended up in a bidding war now, and somebody Oof. is somebody is going to look really shoddy. Whether you get the player or not, well done. Good defending there. See what I mean? Conor Gallagher put himself into Gallagher. trouble there, but did yeah, well. I, I know what you mean. He put himself into the trouble to be fair, but yeah, he did yeah, well to recover. Ball. He did well to recover. Yeah, I think the Caicedo transfer is... At, it's, it's Nobody's the, coming it's out of it. It's the precipice of madness in football. I've never seen anything like Brighton. it. No. Brighton I think, looked great. Brighton looked great. I've never known oh, yeah, yeah, a yeah. saga like it. 
Like, I suppose I maybe the Harry Kane one. Harry Kane seems to go every day. But, but this I get Caicedo that for a striker. One, I get it for a striker. get it for a creative player. I get it for, you know, even the Gerrard thing years ago going to Chelsea. I get that, but... This guy's a utility player. Mm. He's played 40 Premier League games. No, he's a and great player. He's a one good... But Look, he's not a worth £150 that... million. Pounds. You've got to do at least a couple step overs for me to think you're worth £100 He million. scored one goal last but, season. Like, he is a very good player. Wait, like, let's put the play, money to the side. He's a very games. good player. He's a very good player. With 40 Premier League games. By, by very good, define... Is he Champions League quality right now, as of today? Yeah. Yes. Is he? Yeah. Yes. But what he's and not... He's not worth £115 million not, today. No, no, I agree I think, with I think that. he I might become that. worth £115 million quid. Genuine question, then, if I'm being an well, idiot, Harry tell Maguire me. Can I ask a genuine question? The market's question. fucked. Back in the last season, if you're a top, top... If you're a world-class midfielder, why are you being played out of position at right-back? No, but you can say that, that about no, loads of players. You can't, you can't, you can't. Thomas Partey no, at can't. Arsenal plays at right back. No, no, no. It doesn't mean he's a bad player. It just means football's changed. For me, they'd rather play uh, that right back. No, no, no. Well. But if they'd rather play that right back there, so that when when your team's attacking, your your, yeah, your right back becomes your central midfielder. Of what he was doing, so right? And you, I still if you think expect if to dominate best, possession, you play in your natural position, in my opinion. But positions have changed now. I know, I know. But if you're a midfielder, you don't want to lose him in midfield. He played the vast majority of his Brighton career in in central midfield. But the back end last season, they were chasing Champions League football. Brighton, they shoved him at right back during yellow card. Not say he's bad because he's a utility player. He's a utility player. That's what I don't get about it. I don't. I don't think that's. I don't think that's. You don't shove Rodri there. No, you don't at Man City because Man- you have you players, you have there. a squad that He's a James come. Milner type. No, mate. At Aston Villa, nah. he started in midfield. Can you not see that? You, got it you must be able to see that it's different at Brighton to Man City. Like, making the comparison about your squad like, to their squad is different. No, but I'm, what I'm trying to say is, we signed James Milner. He's fantastic for Aston Villa. You're using it as a criticism that he plays at right back. That's great. That shows you a really good football. It's not a criticism. It's to it's to accommodate the squad that that they were dealing with towards the end of last season. It, the reason it's a criticism is because if you sign him for 50 million quid, you, you, you lads are also, bang on. I think you're overplaying this. He played at right quid, back Adam. Thing. Mate, 150 million, million quid. No, he's not worth that. I exactly, I that's what I'm trying to say. So if you spend 150 million quid, you want to know that he played every game in midfield. But the thing is, he scored 10 goals. The last problem is, bro. What's your issue about going to right back? Like, it's this massive thing. You're not about to buy Paqueta for 100 million. I don't want that. He's not worth 100 million pounds. I don't want that, bro. Just because you don't want it, you don't want it. You not getting shoved at left back. Whether you want it or not, Paqueta wasn't getting shoved at left back. Back in the last season, he was fantastic. No, no, but the point is, how like player can cost 150 million pounds, be overpriced, and still be a very good signing. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm not saying he's a bad player. I'm not saying he won't improve Chelsea. But you are. You're saying but because it worries me because he's played in the right last season. One. He was being he was getting shoved at fullback. That's nah. for me. He wasn't he, like he wasn't getting. That's shoved like saying at fullback. John Stones got shoved at holding mid. No, yeah. that's because he can play there. So he's he, a good he, enough player to be able to play there. Yeah, John Stones he isn't get a midfielder anywhere. by trade, and he's being played out of position. Yeah, no, that, that's not a slight. That's not that doesn't mean John Stones is. a I'm bad not even trying to wind you up because I think he's a fantastic player. But you get you get the point because you're so wrong that you are whining anymore. Well, I'm not. I'm not because no, you should think about what you're doing. I'm not. I'm trying to be very civil in the first live stream of the season. But it's not about civility. Oh, it's, about civility. Um, it's not about civility. It's about your what you're saying is factually incorrect. You're going. He was shoved out of the team. He wasn't good enough, so they put him. No, I'm not back. saying it like that's that. That's not, not what happened. Like that. I'm that's not saying li- it like that. It's literally not. I'm what saying happened. that Deserby was willing to lose a little bit of his influence in midfield and put him not, as an inverted. No, he, he, proper Charles makes a great point. Again, you're using the word willing. Proper Charles in the comments makes a great point. Goes, Sen played at right back in the Champions League final. Does that make him a bad player? But because of injuries. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. There's your answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. There you go. Yeah. I'm just saying. I'm, you, that, that's you're making no point. sense. What, what, you're, what? Say, you're saying that, oh, you know, they, they, they chucked him right back. We said about Essie and you went, yeah, that's because of injuries. Yeah. Right, okay, so now talk about Brighton and why. So my point is, okay, Brighton might have had gaps in their squad. They're chasing Champions League football. If you're a £150 million pound player, you keep him in midfield and put another no person... One, so right no so one here said he's a £150 million pound player. No one said he's... But, but he is, by definition, because he's going to a club for £150 million. That's the issue. If he's but, a £40 but, million pound player, we're not Lucas having Paquette, right now. Million pound player. Oh my God. Why are we talking about Paqueta? Mate, we have not, we're not even going to sign him. But, it's not but Michael Essien was effectively chucked at right back. Right, that's, that, that's a great example that I wasn't thinking of prior. And that's, <laughs> what can I say? No, what, what can, can I say? say but I, got, right, I got that wrong. I, I, I'm get, yeah. Maybe I'm getting it slightly wrong. Okay. All right. Because that, cool. was, that, was, that was my grain territory. That was yeah. difficult. Really? Yeah, that you're was really wrong. difficult. Yeah. You're really? It's early in the season but for I, this I, as well. I, I don't get it. I don't, I don't, <laughs> you're all you're right, wrong. Not really. Like, I'm affected. Well, to say that it's slightly can we talk concerning. About more happier? No, no. I mean, it's not... I'm not even saying it's a major thing. I think he's a fantastic player. No, but this, right, this right back thing. Yeah, you're getting caught. You're getting. That stupid. You're getting it really twisted. Like I don't understand it. Like and you're, here we go. Sterling's in. It's yeah. It's wildly wrong, man. I think you play less talented players there. Can we do a poll? So Michael Essien was less boot? talented than no, Michael Ballack. Yes Michael Ballack. Yes. Michael Ballack played. Yeah. 
Michael Essien drops. But Brighton's a different example. They don't have the quality. That, that... Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. No, but Brighton do have the quality. I don't know. I don't think it's a slight on him either. I think that shows he's a good player. I think we're having these kind but of I arguments be because ultimately it's like 150 million quid for the guy. It's crazy. But I don't enough. know whether he's, he's not. 115. That's what I've heard, yeah, yeah. 115. Yeah. Well, it, 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 I think it's 111 is the bid that's accepted. Which when you think crazy. about... Crazy. Well, I mean, he's gone... It, it's crazy if you if you compare it to Jude Bellingham, but it's is it that crazy if you compare it to, say, <coughs> Enzo Fernandez? 85% that you're wrong with. Is it 85? Yeah. I'm it's going to be a long, season, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a long old season, isn't it? It's be a long old season. But, um... <laughs> oh! oh! wow. Um, Who's that? The Canato, isn't it? Just make them up. And to chill while this, well. this game is feisty already, isn't They're it? They're very open. Mitch Jackson there just slammed uh, Schlubberslein into the floor. Um, Looks like he's game, isn't it? Uh, yeah, he's up for it. Got some breaking news uh, for you, by the way. Oh, here he is. Oh, Say hello. Is. Nobody knows uh, who. Mate, Rory. you haven't said hello or anything. Uh, You've got to introduce yourself. Hello, it's which hello, hello, battered everyone. Stoke yesterday, um, by the way. I know. <laughs> battered him. I know. Shite. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, Neymar apparently uh, an offer on the table going to Saudi from Al Halal. But they are also, breaking news, they are also trying to reactivate the deal for Mitrovic from Fulham. Wait, what? Ugh. Al Halal are He's going for Neymar gone. and. Okay. So, so their front line will go Mitrovic, Neymar. Who else is there? Is, isn't that <laughs> Milinkovic, Sam. Savic there as well? Oh, yeah. I was going to say Sam. Sam I, I thought Mitrovic had already gone. No, no. No, they, they didn't want to lose. Because at one point, Fulham were going to lose Marco Silva, William, oh, yeah, and... <clears throat> Mitrovic ha- uh, said he doesn't want to play for the club again. Mm. And, and the trouble with Mitro- do, do you know what the trouble, the trouble with Mitrovic is? You know, some players, I think they're... I don't want to make this about professionalism, but I feel like some players, you can keep them unhappy and know that they'll yeah. be okay. So Luka Modric at Tottenham, Ch- Ch- Luka Modric wanted to come to Chelsea. Daniel Levy said no. Modric sort of sulked for two weeks, went on strike for about two weeks, then was Tottenham's player of the year. Yeah. Then he got his move to Real Madrid. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that's Mitrovic. <laughs> I think Mitrovic unhappy mm. is is a problem. It's a problem. Yeah, he's a problem yesterday. for us. Yeah, but keeping him post to the their transfer window closing, I don't think that's good business for Fulham at all. Mm. They've just signed Traore from from Wolves. Well, he's yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Did, you see the, did you see the picture they posted? When yeah, just the cream in it, the the oil. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, got oh, Chelsea in the box here. Thiago Silva trying to bring it down. No, Chilwell, it's poor pass that. Look how far forward Chilwell Ooh. plays. That's not a. F- that's a foul on the Chelsea player, if anything. It shouldn't on. be a foul. play on. Here we go, Sterling. That's right. Where you going? What are you doing? Don't lose it. Here. It does feel like <gasps> I'm watching. Has he lost the ball there? In a game of Pez. When you look at Chelsea, that was game. shocking. Do you know? Do you know the the board are apparently really not happy with Raheem Sterling. You know, like, and the board's opinion mm. is 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 unhappy a, is, in what sense with his what is what his delivered. output. Yeah. I think I think the amount of money that he cost, the amount of money that he costs on a weekly basis, and what we get out of what him. What kind of wages is he on? Oh, mate, heavy, well over three hundred. Yeah, yeah, heavy. Is he's he in a, Saudi Arabia? He's, he's the highest-paid man at the club. Is he a Saudi Arabia player in twelve months? Is he one of them? Do you think? Do you think? Well, I can't. It will depend how this is a long oh. pass. It will depend how this season goes for him. Like, I think he really needs to turn it on. He really needs a mm. massive season. Like, not I don't I don't even mean like a, a a good season. I think he needs to be one of the better players in the Premier League this mm. season. I think he needs yeah, to yeah. like really shine because also his England <sighs> hat goes in here. He's oh, found he's Salah. Salah pass was over pass is terrible. Salah. Oh! That's right. They've the hit the crossbar. Really Salah, Salah on his right foot. Ball, but Salah Mate, got a great Gakpo. Got, Gakpo. Got, that was terrible from him. Wasn't it? There's been a couple where the balls are behind players, but um, Salah hits Liverpool, the bar there. Uh, they're the only team to keep the same kit from last season. No, it's a brand new kit. Oh, that brand pass. new kit. If he it's plays that to Salah properly, thank God he didn't. Yeah, it's a good shot. Good shot him. with his right foot. Why did you well. think of Reese James being made captain? Yeah, I think it's probably the right. I think it's probably the right decision. The the only weird thing about it is Thiago Silva. But mm. I think I think Reece James is captain. He's certainly potential captain material. He's certainly a future captain. The only other person that you could say would have been Thiago Silva. But Thiago probably don't need the armband in it. He's probably one of them. He it? certainly doesn't need the armband. Also, I imagine that Thiago Silva might not play every game, whereas mm. Reece James should be playing every single game. I think it's the right decision. I think he got it right. Like I think I think Mauricio Pochettino has actually managed to do something incredible since he's come into the club. Got everything correct. 
Mm. He's, he's done everything right. He said all of the right things. Mm. You know, his opening press conference, he had a pop at Tottenham. It's amazing. Yeah. It's just amazing. Yeah, it was, a, it was a tap in for him, but he had to kind of do it just to kind of break those shackles. But I don't know if he did have to do it. Next Tottenham. Like, he, what he did was he, he happily and voluntarily buried his Tottenham legacy. Yeah. In minute one of being Chelsea <clears> manager, it was fantastic. But no, I really, I really like the way that he's conducted himself. And I think Reese James as captain is, is the correct decision. Overall, it is certainly the correct decision. He could have a big season this year. Do you, do you know there's a player. Needs an injury-free one. He needs... Oh, God, he needs an injury-free one. You're not wrong. But I think that Reese James, particularly the way that we're going to play now, I think Ben Chilwell will be the, the bursting fullback just because of his fitness and ability to go up and down all day long. But, you know, if our midfield issues continue, and I don't know what's going to happen with Lavia or whatever, Reese James played central midfield, didn't he, I think, for Wigan? Mm. Yeah, he did, yeah. yeah. I wonder if there's... I wonder if there's a way where... You know the way John Stones plays the right. inverted. Yeah. Mean, yeah, yeah. I mean just shit though, according to BB. Oh, I didn't mean like that. For God's <laughs> sake. This is what the transfer market has done to us. It's made us crazy. Yeah, I mean, made 100, you crazy. 150 made million you quid crazy. for Phil Neville. That's God. what it is. Because you can't get price tags out of your head. Yeah. I don't Apart care. from when it, it comes to May, I hope they sign Apart him. They've still City. got a midfield of Enzo Fernandez and the kid from Brighton for 250 million quid. It's pathetic. And Enzo Fernandez is class. He's not hundred. He's not okay, hundred and five yeah, million. He's still a very good footballer. Like that, also, do you know ultimately what? Ultimately, he's on think, the pitch for Chelsea. I think that what you, what I've had to do recently, and what I feel like you might need to do, is redefine your 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 line in the financial sand for what you consider to be value. Like it's all very well going. Well, he ain't a, he ain't an eighty million pound player. I'm like, well, he probably is now because everyone. Yeah, like, yeah I get that, of course. Yeah. Also, you're going to see when Luke like if if you Paqueta think comes for hundred mil. I don't want that for the record. Just because I don't you don't want it, it, it doesn't you know, stop I'm it. just making sure that everyone knows who's watching the club loyally at home. Thanks so much for watching. I don't want Caicedo. Caicedo will have gone for more than Jude Bellingham. Enzo Fernandez will be worth more than Jude Bellingham. That, Declan Rice will be worth yeah, more than Jude yeah, Bellingham. I, I so think you're see right. what I mean? Right, see, yeah. I'm, no, I I'm just right. using those as examples to say to you, like, We're in a new football age. is skewed. Yeah, finances are skewed. So looking at Chelsea's lineup and going, it's a billion quid. You're like, oh, you... well, it's like when, about... I, when I was growing up, people say thirty million quid for Essie, and you know, mm. <sighs> crazy, mm. you know, and that's never worth maybe, every penny. Mm. Yeah, maybe Enzo is, for example. Yeah, maybe it is. Yeah, I think. Do you, do you know when you look at this young Chelsea team? That's all. It's cost a fortune. In three years' time, we're either going to be the best team in the world or bust. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or defunct. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're the two options. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're either or both. We're either champions of Europe, <laughs> yeah, champions of Europe, or we just or, or we've started an AFC Chelsea, like we're playing. <laughs> Is it? Here two- we go. Oh no! Yeah. Oh, nearly. Who was that? That nearly got on the end of that? Jackson. Wow. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? It's, like, it's so weird. This Who's game. Who's twenty six? Chucklemaker first. First game of the season, yeah, twenty six. It was Terry. Yeah, I think it? it was. I think it was Trick Maker who got on the end of it, and then um, Jackson was following up. Go on, Raheem no, Sterling's in. Colwell's twenty six. I think he got given John Terry's yeah, number. Terry. Didn't he? Oh, did he? Mm. I think so. Yeah, Colwell's a big one. What a fantastic player he is. Has to be playing for England next summer. Has to. Do you think? And it's one of those. Mm. Tomori won the league with with it with mm. AC Milan. Maybe proven right by Southgate based on how poor oh, you know the Italian yeah. league is. 15. Look at Loftus Cheek scoring a hat trick. Mm. Southgate don't pick Colwell. I'm, I won't be watching England. Do you in, think he does? Ne, in Germany. Do you think oh, he does, though? He has to. No, oh, no, no. Sorry, yeah, but I, I, there's a world he just just about gets what on about the plane. If Maguire, what about if Colwell has a really good season at Chelsea, but Maguire has a yeah. decent it's, it's season Maguire, at Maguire, Stones, Trippier, Carl Walker, back Can't four next. Can't be Trippier again. <laughs> yeah, Trippier left back. Oh, left back. <laughs> That's from my life. It'll be Trippier left back against you know Croatia in the group next Oh, uh, no. Next summer. Mo How Salah's he in here. behind here. What a poor oh, touch. He didn't bring it down. There's three chances now for Liverpool. It's a bit rusty. Yeah, a bit rusty. Yeah. Although, although not Salah. Like, Salah's hit the bar with his yeah, right foot. Yeah, the Gakpo foot. pass And also, if Gakpo doesn't play that two yards behind, that touch was a bit off. Yeah. But if Gakpo doesn't play that two yards behind him. But they're trying to just kill you in the first 20 minutes, aren't Liverpool they? They're just, it's what Liverpool do, though, isn't it? It's like they're... It's one of Jurgen Klopp's But they always had the extra tactics. man in midfield. I, I don't know where that, that is. sort of like Blitzkrieg yeah. attack. Is that McAllister there? I don't know what you Yeah, that's pointing. in there. 10, yeah, yeah, number 10. Yeah, he's the one that's sitting. And a 10, is, a 10 dropping Oi. is not right for me. Ooh. No. I'd like a draw in this game, but anyone loses, obviously I love it to be Liverpool. 
I suppose. Draw because you kind of just want people to drop points, don't you? I think I think a everyone a, dr- a defeat for Chelsea. De- oh. 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 <laughs> oh shit! Beautiful Diaz finish from Salah nil. across into that Diaz pass from Salah was unreal. What a ball from unreal uh, Salah! From the Salah. problem with this Liverpool team, they just got so many goals in the team. Unreal pass. Like, you running at Colwell then? You just don't know where to. You just don't know where to look to stop them scoring. That like it's all very well talking so about good. their vulnerability so in the midfield. It's their attack. Just goals galore in that team. Diaz, Jota, Gakpo, Salah is a killer. Such a good pass. High line, it's direct as well. It's like within a few passes That's from the, from Allison. Back for yes, from Allison. That's a good ball from McAllister as well. He's on straight side, in. Salah. Salah. No, but it's this pass, isn't it, from Salah? He's oh, on side. He's on side as well. Colwell played. Mate, there's the three players that could have potentially done something there though. Yeah, it was Colwell that was getting uh, was Colwell killed by Salah. Like, I think Colwell that. let him turn. Yeah, Colwell. Look, it's Gave Mohamed Salah. Space. It's Mohamed Salah. You're dealing with one of the most like you know fearful opponents that you can possibly deal with. The trouble is, if you commit there and Salah beat you, he's just got green grass behind you, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. that's what, yeah, that's what yeah. you're just thinking. I think, I think what you to finished all that to get on the end stretching, running. Yeah, he was out most of last season, wasn't he? Diaz? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Such, yeah he was out. For he me. was amazing when they signed him. They were on for the quadruple and all that. He started against ah. Chelsea in the League Cup yeah. final, didn't he? He's such a good player. Yeah, because Tottenham thought they signed him. Do you remember? It was, he was he was basically gone to Tottenham, and I think Conte thought he'd had him. And suddenly he was playing for Liverpool. That happens so much to Tottenham, doesn't it? It happens so much to Liverpool as well. Willian had that. Liverpool often do that to teams as well. Like, you know, we thought we had it with Carcedo and they did it to us. We'll see how that one pans out. Darwin Nunes felt like he was going to Manchester United and suddenly he's at Liverpool, like, playing. Gakpo felt like he was going to Manchester United, actually, didn't he? For the the summer before, yeah. And then when the the window opened. No, but I'm sure last year when he went, I'm sure that Ten Hag had highlighted Gakpo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, look at their midfield. They're playing, like, one defensive midfielder and everyone's free. That, mate, that's what I'm saying, Booth. In this Liverpool, t- like to play Liverpool now, I think you have to accept that the game, to win the game, you're going to have to score three goals. Blow them away, yeah. You're going to have to outscore them because they're just playing. They're ridiculous. Look at their the shape. Press, the pressing as well. Look at their shape. You can't get out. The amount of attacks, Once the you amount beat of that, goals though, on that pitch. The defence is flaky, bro. Yeah, the trouble Once is you, beat trouble that is you can't beat press. it. That's true, yeah. You, you can. can. Well, um, better teams can. Look how easy this is, though. Look, Salah, one on one. You've got to do more. You can't let him pick a pass, pass is out. So good, man. Also, the pass is so Silva good. didn't Thiago stretch Silva enough, there, did he? Thiago Silva slides in. He cuts out that pass easily. Alistair with the pass, oh, to, um, no. Salah. Look, I think we're being really nice here. I know that we want him to do well, and I know that I know that we were just discussing England. But if Harry Maguire did what Colwell did, you would be going yes, ballistic. Yeah, engage earlier. You think? Yeah. And it's all very well going if he skips past you. you he can't skip past you. The ball might. A bit of a player might. Touch, though, touch touch was was so down, man, 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 man. Ooh, he's waved it straight off. He's just shoved him in the back. He's had surely. a little bit of a push from Konate in the back. He's gone you down. You can't just shove him in the back. That's no penalty for me. <laughs> That's not a penalty. <laughs> you know what? That's I one of those. How much does this kid it's wave? Foul, what, what does he wave? never going to What is he? Look how easy he goes over. No, not that one. That's not it. It's that. Oh, look how light he goes, Chilwell. But nah, your arm's he, honestly, your arm has no reason to be on him there. You're never your arm has no reason to be on him. I see why you're calling for it, but you're never getting You're not getting that, are you? you never, ever. You should. Really? The point is you whether it's a foul or not. The thing is, you get it outside the box. It's whether it's a penalty or not. Is that a foul? Are you allowed to do that on a football pitch? that's further outside the box, you get that. Yeah. So then it's just. But you don't have different rules in a penalty. No, I know, I know, I know. That's it's annoying. That's the reality. That's unfortunate. Salah is taking with him. Yeah. If he stays fit, Salah just knows he's got the beating of him, doesn't he? He just knows that he can do it to him whenever That's he wants. Oh, no. Unlucky. Great. Great play by... Was that Callum? Now, what do you do with the ball now? Let's see what you Here do with the ball. Jackson, Jackson holding up. Fair enough. Man on, man on. Wide. Don't lose it there. Here we go. Free kick given. That's that well. Fair play. Did well. I don't think that was Silly foul, from really. Sobers line, huh? Sobers line yeah. didn't need to do Jackson's that. Jackson's bought that, though. Yeah, but Sobers line allowed it to be up for sale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 you know what? You're, you're more right. Because he's kind of pushed out, mm. isn't it? Just, just don't do that. Van Dyke's got the situation in hand. Well, Van Dyke getting dragged out wide is not usually a pretty sight. Oh, dear, oh, dear. It's going to be a long old season for Poch, isn't it? I don't think so. I think, nah, look, mate, not, this man. isn't Stop an example. Us, us losing to <laughs> Liverpool is... We're not that level. But we're aiming. The dream for us is fifth. Liverpool dreaming yeah, to win the league. We've got, we've, got yeah. very different, we've got very different aspirations this season. Charles can still win this game. Get a point. It'd be brilliant. One all draw for my super six. Two all, hopefully. Oh, oh good header out. Well, wow. 
Your badge is like weird as well, isn't it? It's, it's like a hologram, green. isn't it? It's got a bit of green in it. Is it? Is it? It's like Hang a shiny. What year are we in? 2023. <laughs> I'm trying to think if it's an anniversary or something. 2023. So yeah. 20. Wow, 2023. 2012. Maybe it's like weird, an 11 year thing. <laughs> is that an anniversary? No. Is it 11 years a thing? Since you won. What, what, the Champions League final? Mm. What, by meaning? Is that something that no. we can. No. no, no, no. <laughs> 11 year anniversary. Yeah. It's not... Wait, it's a big deal, man. But every it's like it, secondary school. Isn't it? What's fifty years of marriage? Like <laughs> Second- rose, gold, mm, rose, gold. diamond, or something. What is it, uh, mate? You're bringing this up. You need to have. The you put up the eleven year anniversary. Yeah, it's I'm a saying famous, every year's it's a famous got a landmark. Every, yeah, every Everybody year's celebrates. Got a you know, their eleventh birthday, their twenty second birthday, their thirty third birthday. They're the big ones. I'm not celebrating my thirty third birthday. <laughs> they're the big ones. When I get thirty three, I won't be celebrating that. I tell you now. <laughs> you will. I won't be. Could you be like, thank God, I'm not thirty five. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is a shame. It's such a shame. The fixture list, very unkind to us. Although, in a way, it's good to get it out of the way. 50s gold, I've been told by the producer. That's fantastic work in the back room there. 50s Doing gold. Doing the research. 50 years is gold. What's an 11-year wedding anniversary? Oh! There's one for every year. Colwell's done him. Come oh. on. Wait, yes, yes, yes! <laughs> he should have scored that. It's a corner, though, right? Don't complain. You've, you, you spooned it, mate. Don't complain. He should have scored. That was great play by um, Colwell. Oh, that's good as well. He steals the eleven-year wedding anniversary. Steal, mm. magnet and steal. The <laughs> <roll. laughs> Look at his finish. That's it's a corner. A corner. It's a corner. That's a it's corner. Going wide, wasn't it? I mean, no, it's, it's a corner. generous to get a corner out of that. It was going wide. Yeah, it's, it's not generous that's to get not a corner. The rules. Out of Bloody hell! What are you what? talking about? I'm just saying it was, a, it was a wide of the mark. Jesus, Boofy, please, mate. What? Come on. You it can't... was wide of the mark. Yeah, but you, you're like, it's not generous making... to get a corner. The ball didn't come off. Did it come off? Gen- no, you, you literally did the, the, you the, the words you said. No, I'm saying it was generous. It was going wide. It no, wasn't no, going on no, target. No, no. <laughs> you're changing what you said. It'd be a generous corner. I'm not saying How it touched him. John Henry there in the box. I don't know if we're going to make it. No, I know. I know. I don't get it. The shot was wide. I don't get it. He's on his left no, no, foot. It was wide. No he got a thing. corner. The, and that's the fair po- play. No, but that's not what you said. Though. That's the point. That's no, why I said it was generous. No, no. It was generous for Chelsea to get a corner no. out of a shot that was going wide. No. It's pretty basic, isn't no. it? No. <laughs> We've lost a thousand viewers because of your industry. <laughs> I don't get it. Mm. We've lost a thousand because of your why industry. Why can't you understand that? Because it's not the words you said. You're now changing what you said. <laughs> so try and up your game. 25 minutes into the God. season. You need to be better. I be can't wait can till it's our steel be the man club you, anniversary. Be the man that you want to be. That's nine years to go. Oh, God. That's going to be a trap. Nine years. Nine, nine years. years. Imagine. What are we... What, what are we... Oh, no. Wow. Oh, no. Oh, this is it. 2 nil. Mo Salah's in. Oh, great block by Soft Thiago. Finish. <laughs> Soft finish. Soft finish. He, he sort of tapped it in. <laughs> Boovy, I've just got to correct you before all the chat do. Uh, we've only been going eight months, so it's yeah, ten years. Oh, it's another ten years with these guys that don't understand You're basic right. English. Well done. <laughs> you know, ten years to our are you still okay? anniversary. Are you, you genuine? Are, are you still Did tripping you go out last night? We've not done a live for a few months. I say something basic. You don't understand what I'm saying. It's not my fault. You don't understand. Just let that sink in. Oh. Yeah, let's move on. 1-0 to Liverpool at the moment. 25, 26 minutes gone. Um, oh, God, I hate watching Liverpool win, you know. I was looking forward to this season. Mate, they're going to be they're gonna be a problem. Be they're going to be a real problem. I don't, I, look, I, we're getting... I don't think so. Not when I see that midfield. Obviously, it could change. They could sign someone. Maybe Caicedo will go there. But, but they when think, I look at that midfield, I just think, no But there's only way, a few games it. in a season where the teams that they're playing against, like the vast majority of the teams that they play against... This this lineup will work. Okay, mm. look, I imagine Man City will be able to pick this off. I imagine that certain teams <clears> in the Premier League will be able to pick this off. But I'd say eighty percent of the Premier League will be battered by this team. This th- just the amount of goals in this team alone is going to cause so many problems. That's trend. For so many teams. Ooh, good play. And it's a it's a it's a worry for the Premier League. Like if you're Arsenal or um, if you're Arsenal or Man City now looking to win the Premier League title, Liverpool are, Liverpool are going to be very serious this year. Very serious. I still think they need that. So if they're going to win the league, they need that signing. Um, I think they can be serious. But they team. will. They'll, and I they'll, think they will score a lot of goals, but I think they'll concede. Even that Lavia's young as well. No, but it might they're not going be, to concede. Even, even, even if they miss out on Lavia, mm. they'll sign. Like who would it be? It'd be Tyler Adams. Like they will sign somebody mm. in that position, won't they? Like that will happen. They have to. I think. Mm. Use like a left Tyler Adams and a lurch, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. Crazy, isn't it? 
Yeah, it's I not think it's crazy. You were linked to him. Like, is he good enough? Um, is he good enough? It, I think it would have been a sign you, you of never stood up for me last season. And I think maybe now the extra cross to Kai Sado, they've gone, let's just make one of those. But the thing is, you yeah. know, if you're, you know, if you were bright, if I was Brighton, <sighs> I'd try and get Lavia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or they could even go in for Adams, Slap couldn't 60 they? Million in for yeah. Him. yeah, yeah. He's 19. He's so young. He's so young. He's so young. This is this is it now, though, isn't it? But have you noticed, like, you know how we make... It's the same in the Premier League in, this, in terms of the teams. Like, in order to win the Premier League, like, you can look at what happens on basically the first day of the season and make fairly significant statements about how the Premier League season will go. You can now look at a 19-year-old and make fairly significant predictions about who they're going to be. Like, the margins are so are so small now. Mm. And you look at Liverpool knocking it around like this. I mean, I, th- I thought it before the a ball was kicked anyway. But I think they're going to be really, really good this season. Yeah. Even Arsenal yesterday, you look at the way Arsenal got the result. They didn't play well. No, yeah. But ground it out. They ground it out. Yeah, and that's yeah. a sign of, yeah. you know, that's a sign of a really good team. And, and you, did you watch, did you see that game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see towards the end? Oh, oh. Salah's in. Two. Is it Salah's two in. It has to be two. It is two. It's finished it off. Can't is celebrate. It off? Is it off? The no. off flag. Is it a goal? It's a goal. Why yeah, is there no sort of reaction? He seemed to grimace then, which Wait, I thought, I thought he was off. Time. They can't celebrate because of the VAR. They don't know. Well, I they, think it's they're so literally close. celebrating. Yeah, but he's not. Gassed, no, but he's he? not. He's not yeah. really. Because it's two 0 against a crap Chelsea team in twenty eight. Yeah, but you're two 0 up at Stamford Bridge in the first game of the season. You should be celebrating more than that. Mate. All right, celebration, please. Look at this. Yeah, he's, he's off. He's off. Side. But he knows no, he's no, off. No, That's he's the not. point. It's the new rule. Hang on, he's not off. He's not off. His feet are on. It's going to be a goal. What's the new rules? It's if, Daylight. It's, it's if you can score with the body part, in it? His head's off. Oh, his head's off. That means he might be off. His if, head's if, off. if his arm's on, if his arm's <laughs> off, it won't matter. It's a mental conversation. Head's off. His head's off, but his arm his, might his be His legs on. are completely on. How his tall legs. is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Head completely on, arms completely off. Please be ruled out. Please, please, please be ruled out. Be ruled out. Don't. Just rule it out for pants. Mate, they, they are taking the mick out of us. Is Corwell's leg kind of playing him on? I think it's the weird angle though because there's more because there's more players along the line. Is there anyone straight? You know what I mean? I mean, this isn't straight. There's no way that that should no because look, any part of his body is in line with any part of his body. You should swing. I mean, this should be a goal. I I, I want it to be ruled out. Why isn't there a camera that's like level? With the play, it can't be like, level at every I, point, though, can no, it? Because I mean, you need like the longest camera an angle, in the world, like a weird angle, offside. Bosh! Thank God for that. I mean, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Well, it's great. For my no one needs six. him scoring yet. He would have scored in like seven in a row first games of the season. He really? still will, mate. There's an hour left. Is that what it would have been, right? Yeah, I think so. I remember he did it against Watford. <coughs> Oh dear, oh dear. So his head was offside. That's why it's offside. <laughs> yeah. But his body was on the side. But last last season it was different. No. I don't know. It was different last Mate, season. Mate, I've I've lost all interest. I, I find oh, it. He would have been offside, offside last disgusting. season as well. I find it draining. That was two minutes, that VAR. It's not now, be, now it'll finish 111 correct. minutes this game. 111 minutes this game. What There's nothing wrong with what you've just seen. There is, mate. There is. There is. That's because, not football. Because that they didn't celebrate that to the VAR. And also that goal shouldn't be ruled out. That shouldn't be an offside goal. He's offside, man. He's not offside, is he? Because his his part of his body is in line with part of Cole's body. Yeah, but then that's a different interpretation of the offside rule. I'm interpreting that's not it that's correctly. not a VAR issue. That's yeah, like it's no longer daylight. Like it used to be daylight. Mm. It's not anymore. Well, you, but the the modern definition VAR, of offside is ridiculous. Okay, like that's it's what not you, it's not yeah. meant to be a Rizzler paper between. It's yeah, not I meant agree to with that. that. It's very the tradition is you give the benefit of the doubt to the striker in in mm. traditional football, and that's what that's how I see it. Yeah. Also, it's a, it's a forward-thinking game. You want goals. Also, it's like offside was brought in to prevent goal hanging. You're not that. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, You're not no. like monitoring it it like the hundred hundred meter sprint of the Olympics. Like that's when it matters. Hawkeye matters in it, Wimbledon. It Enzo doesn't matter in this game. Some. Did he headbutt him? Oh, I say yellow. It's all right. You want the ref to deal with that now? Yeah, yeah. Give a yellow because you know if he just ignores it. Yeah. Opposite well, no. What, what scared me? It was a very, it was a very minor headbutt, but there was a, there was a slight head, and that, and you know what they can be like. Look, watch. See that? If I say watch, you can't look at your phone, mate. I can no, no, watch. It's because I got the a watch. message for you. Watch. Bruins man said, "Tell Rory the Chelsea kit is for the 25th anniversary of the '98 Cup Winners' Cup." Told you it'd be an anniversary. It's a '90s thing. Yeah, that was the '98 in the Rizunda. But then I looked at that kit from '98, uh, and it looks nothing like this kit. <laughs> 
No, no, it's just a, it's just a homage, isn't it? It's just what, a colouring of the uh, blue. Just no, just a, it's a different just shape because you had a lighter blue. No, it's, in a, it's a gold tinge on the badge to acknowledge what happened right. twenty five years ago. It's very scrappy. This game, like proper. Yeah, no one's getting on the ball and dominating. Referees end to end. Got to have a headache. Shouldn't be so useless in that guess. It's a bit of a, not a derby, but it's an aggressive game, historically speaking. You know, we've not yeah, really no, talked no, about no. it in the stream. There but, is, yeah. But there's a lot of uh, hatred there, obviously. Yeah, very modern. It's a very modern rivalry. Yeah, but yeah, it's a, it's, yeah. as, as rivalries go, it's a new one. Benitez and the yeah, ghost then, goal. That's when and, it started. Yeah, but yeah. When, when Mourinho came to the country, I think Benitez came like three, three weeks later. And obviously we had our new manager, they had their new manager. Yeah. And it coincided with us sort of playing them so many times. You know, I saw an amazing... I think we played each other like over 50 times in, in six years. So what? During that early 2000s yeah. period? Wow. Would have been a lot of double headers in it in like well, we Capital got the, One. We got the League Cup final, League Cup final, League Cup semi-finals. <clears throat> we got them in the group stages of the European Cup. Obviously, we had them in the European Cup times after that as well. Were you there for the ghost goal? Yeah. Yeah, horrific. That was at Anfield. Mate, yeah. The kite one was the worst. The kite, the kite was probably... When Dirk Kite scored, it was probably the worst I've ever felt in a stadium in my whole life. Why that one, sorry? It, I thought we'd done oh. it. Joe Cole, would, I, we'd won the first. Uh, Enzo did him. Was there. that the one? Maybe it was Aga. Oh, who was it? We won the Fat we won the home leg one nil. Joe Cole scored, and we went away and we lost one nil. Might have been Aga. Anyway, like just you know when the penalties went in, it was just it was just the worst. We'd obviously had it once already. Mm. It was def. I was. It was definitely the most deflated I've ever been in a stadium. Really? Yeah. yeah. Watching the whole, watching the cop give it the Torres song, you know, it's like painful. Yeah, because you were better than them as well, isn't it? Well, we'd Are won you, the league. Yeah, yeah we'd, you, we'd you won the league. Team. We'd won the league, and I think as well we'd beat them in the League Cup final in Cardiff. Do you remember when Mourinho was shushing? Yeah. I think Matai Kesman scored for us. Wow, Matai Kesman scored. Yeah, we we beat them three two. Steve it, it Gerrard scored no goal. Really. And and we were in the stand, and the whole thing was we were trying to sign him. It was like he scored an own goal, and the whole a whole stadium was giving it. Uh, he scored his first goal for Chelsea. First goal. That's for a Chelsea. great stadium. I feel like there's some great games. The Millennium. Yeah, yeah. it's better than Wembley by a mile. It was a great. It was a great Crazy. place. To have How we messed that up? It was a Wembley. great place. It was a great place to go because you know what they used to do? They used to cut the city in two. Yeah. So like I remember we played Arsenal in a cup final. Lundberg scored a blinder. Ray Parler scored a blinder as well. Actually, we played Arsenal. Don't see an Arsenal fan all day. Mm. You get off yeah. the train, you mm. go that way, they go that way. St. Mary Street in Cardiff. Cardiff is a, cool. a fun city. Yeah, well. great good city. You have the whole, you have yeah, the whole end, brilliant stadium. Yeah, yeah. They put a roof on, it gets really yeah, noisy yeah, yeah, in there. Yeah. We lost against uh, Arsenal and Penza. We played Back Liverpool in a charity yeah. shield. Day. It was one of the most embarrassing Chelsea performances. We just didn't take any fans. You know, sometimes it happens. Like It doesn't really happen to you, yeah. Ad, but Boova, it has happened to our clubs. We played, um, we played Liverpool in a oh. charity shield. Shevchenko scored. Uh, we lost 2-1. Shevchenko scored. I went. Mate, we had like 12,000 fans. Really, there. Yeah. yeah, it just didn't travel. We just, for some reason, just didn't happen. <sighs> Van Nistelrooy's debut was there as well. We lost 2-1 against Liverpool. Charity Shield. In the Charity Shield? Yeah, Van Nistelrooy scored. Yeah. No, we had some great times in Cardiff. Far better than Wembley. Far superior. I wish it was still there. Yeah. Chelsea yeah, attacking here. Come on. Sterling's in the box. He didn't give the yeah. ball Why quick enough. He, he didn't give the ball quick enough. I think he was hoping he'd get Was clipped. he trying yeah, to play for an yeah, own goal? he was goal. trying to get clipped, I think. Or was he trying to play it for an yeah, own goal? Like, it's... drive it into Alexander Arnold? There, release it one, I thought he was looking for a foul there. Yeah, he I didn't do badly. Trent's done well there, to be honest. Yeah, he didn't do badly, Sterling. It's very difficult to get that from under the that bar. That behind Look at his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I love that Rory's critiquing someone's shirt. <laughs> 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 Some of the shirts I've seen you turn up in. <laughs> Chelsea had some good possession. Oh, yes! yes! <laughs> is it offside? It's De Sassi. Wow. Oh, yes. A debut goal. The absolute boy. Nice, <laughs> yes. nice little finish. <laughs> no offside flag. I thought he'd missed it. So oh, like yes. His, his run did come from quite deep through, so it'd be difficult for him to be offside. Love fella, that. Your fellow with the shirts buzzing in that corner yeah. now. Got a goal right in front of him. Big game guy, mate. And Todd Burley. Paul's loving it. Love it. One all on my super six. We needed that. Gosh. Three one Chelsea. On mate, one. I was feeling so deflated. That's out of nowhere, isn't it? It Here felt like Liverpool was so on top. Sterling kept it alive, got it back out wide. Good cross into the box. Look, Chilwell, is it? Know. Chilwell just knocked yeah, it back he's in. He's miles on side. Floater. Yeah. He, sort of, he really he, look, he doesn't make any real contact with the ball. He's brilliant. He just sort of sweeps it. Look. 
just sort of swings a leg at it. It doesn't get any genuine contact on it. Look. That's what you want. No, exactly. You know, if it hits just that redirect key, the it. Saved yeah, 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 yeah. Just redirect it. Oh, it's horrible. He's hit it. it twice. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Do, you know, do, you know, do you know he made his debut? Uh, he made his debut for France at the World Cup. Like at the his first ever game for France was at a competitive like in a in a World Cup. That's mental, isn't it? I if any other players. Phil Walcott went to the World Cup, didn't he? Yeah, he oh. went to the World Cup before he played for England. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, that was ridiculous. That was Ven, wasn't it? Yeah. So instead of German Jermaine Cup, Defoe. Right? Yeah. yeah. Jermaine Defoe was so oh, criminal. Yeah. Well, did he, he, you he, could talk about all the strikers. He scored a hat-trick, didn't he, somewhere? We, we played Croatia. Yeah, Theo yeah, Walcott yeah, yeah. scored a hat-trick in Croatia. He had some great... like His highlight reel is amazing. Who, Defoe or Walcott? Uh, Walcott. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very un very underwhelming, considering what we thought he was Yeah, you know, but I mean, his highlight reel... Yeah. I remember that run for the added by your goal. Yeah. Wait, I'll tell you, he did it in Cardiff. <laughs> Which, you know, yes, yes, oh! yes, yes, yes. Oh, two yes! 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 <laughs> oh, you two one up. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what, a, what a joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Liverpool, you I tell you what, up. they're going to have a terrible <laughs> season. It's a long old season oh, for no, Jurgen oh, Klopp. <laughs> I did say I got a feeling Chelsea could come from behind in this game. Oh, man, I've got a head Is rush. it offside though? No, 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 no. They know. Run. Look, he knows he's onside. Wait, that is amazing. Wait, what's happened there? That is amazing. Let's have a look here. Is that Sterling at the heart of it again? Yeah. Oh, it's so oh. easy. Oh, he's on. He's on. Trent, Trent's playing him off. Uh, on. Uh, I don't know. Well played for a left back. Movie, I don't know, mate. mate I, think, he, I think he's off there, boys. I think he's off. But Trent's. Is, is oh half of it, at least half of his body's ahead of Trent. It should be, they should have both counted. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look at the line. You know the green line? Yeah. I mean, Trent's uh, covering a lot of that it looks, light it green. It looks very offside to me, mate. I really want to see what you're saying, but I'm not seeing it. <laughs> Tell me again. It's like one of them magic eyes, you know, where you're meant to like stare at the thing. Adam, you know the, I'm looking you know at this the as best the I can. You know the line on the pitch? It feels like they're both inside that line. I really want you to be right, <laughs> but I can't see what you're saying. <laughs> He's offside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought he was offside. I tried really hard there as well, mate. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, see, I was ruining football. I don't okay. understand the new rules. Oh, that would have been so ruining good. football. Boldies like this are ruining football. <laughs> Seriously, God. I'm sick, I'm sick of this. Yeah. Name? I can't stand it. Kick boldies out of football so Pep Honestly. does one ASAP. <laughs> and Tenog. Yeah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon Tenog could grow his back, though. <laughs> Where do we decide that football has to be this kind of scrupulous? No, no, no. no Seriously? No. I don't know. Is I think it fun anymore. Do, do you know what? Do you know what happened, Boogie? I think everybody went. You know, certain things that happened, and everybody agreed it needed to be rectified. The obvious thing would be Frank Lampard in 2010, yeah, right? 2010. Everybody knew that needed to change because yeah. that was just ridiculous. Yeah. England were in the ascendancy; would have probably won the game, and then obviously it went wrong. And they've just gone too far. We've tried to correct yeah. too much. Like, I think everybody would be in favour mm -hmm. of goal line technology because it's it's objective. It's if a ball crosses the line, that's objective. Yeah. These are a lot of these are subjective. Yeah. A lot of them are subjective. I know. So Someone's no. changing the game for the worse. I mean, that's the reality of football. I can't believe how well we've played, having gone a goal down and then potentially two goals down. Devil's oh, no! Oh. No, they should be doing oh, better. Yeah. Devil's advocate Keeper. here because I never wanted VAR from the first place. Like, I never wanted it. I just find sometimes the criticisms it don't make sense. But let's say there was a goal scored there and Chilwell was offside by Miles. The debate would then be, because this is how it was like before VAR, Oh, we need video because all these decisions are worth so much money. They're so critical. Yeah, yeah. Managers are getting sat left, mm. right, and centre. And you would probably be sat here saying that. I'd be saying the linesman should be able to gauge if that's offside and have basic rules. If he's five yards offside, I'm not saying that oh, he should be allowed to be onside. Of course not. But in, in little moments like that, we've seen two good goals, I think, ruled off. <laughs> <laughs> the club is brought to you by Super Six, and we have. A Super 7000 tuned in right now. 7K. It's the 7K. opening uh, live stream to the brand new season. Thank you very much to everyone for joining us. 7,000 plus of you. Listen, if you're not subscribed, and I'm guessing most of you won't be, uh, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. We're very close to 150,000. As I said as well, we're brought to you by Super 6. Download the Super 6 app and join our league club 23. We're giving away a grand today to the person that finishes at the top of our league. And I'm guessing with this being at 1-1, everything is in the balance right now for that as well. Yeah. So that should be fun. Um, yeah, get hitting that subscribe button, please. Do us a favor. We're here every week. And next week, we have got a big old double header. 
Massive, isn't it? Absolutely. Big old huge. double. Oh yeah, header. we're doing a double. We're double dropping, aren't we? Mm. Well, we? We've got. We're doing Spurs the five thirty. Man United. Tottenham, Man United first. Yes. At 5.30. I'm trying to see and then what first. is it? Newcastle. Newcastle City. Newcastle. Newcastle City straight after. God, that's, that's going to be, be a tough game. Gonna be, oh. Newcastle, best side this weekend in terms yeah. of their performance. Yeah. Unbelievable. They blew Villa away. I really hope that Manchester... I, I want both Mancunian teams to win mm. next week. I'm fully Mancunian next week. All right, mate. So it's top mad for it. <laughs> Come on, Manchester. <laughs> That's yeah. me next weekend. I want, a, yeah, I, I don't want Newcastle <laughs> to win. I'm committed to them not winning now, so I'll, I'll take a draw in that one. That's hilarious. That is me next week. I'm going to come in here like Liam Gallagher. All right, lads, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really want you to win. Straight come on, Reece James and Paul into the box. Oh, he should be scoring that. Nice. should be scoring that. He's got to oh. score that. You have to hit the target. He's hit it over from the six-yard box. Oh, come he's on, balloon that. Come on, son. He's balloon that. He is Miss Jackson. We are so good. Sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh. We are going to be drop that, His movement's very Can we drop the Miss Jackson joke this week? No, no we'll just miss. Joke. He's missed. The outcast jokes. Uh, all right. No, he's missed. Let's give it four no, but, weeks the, the, the and then we'll drop is, it. For, for Adam's, loyal gonna, Adam's gonna do it when he misses, and then when he scores, I'm just gonna sing it. Fine, yeah. Fine. So I, I just think it's gonna so live. That joke for the next 38 weeks. It's gonna live on when he misses. So we're gonna do it every week for 38 weeks. Yes. Fucking hell, it's a long old season with you. Well, you'll probably be sold in January. Thoughts and prayers for me on the club with these two for the next 38 weeks. Yeah. When I make sensible points. Nice, Gallagher. Sensible nice. points, that. Nice! Come on, Blues! Oh! Yeah. Come on! Oh. That's a back pass. pass. Referee! That's a back pass. That's a back pass. Mate, this we, we're so gone. good, they can't handle us. <laughs> we're fucking unbelievable. Yeah. That's a back pass. He's magic, oh. you know. Oh, Pochettino. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, we're so another good. One. I don't know what's going on here. I was... I don't know how to react. So I haven't seen us play this well for. I was going to yeah. say it must be the best phase of play. Yeah, this is unbelievable. It's the best phase. But no, but it's longer. Because mate, we won a European Cup Madrid without playing well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. We, we we haven't actually. You played. don't want a league in a long time. No, it's been a long time since we had even a challenge for a league. No, really, you have you know? won it recently yeah. though. Ten Wait, years for me. Depends. Oh, I see what you mean. Right. Ten. Uh, Twenty thirteen. Yeah, that's a decade. That's a long time. <laughs> it will be at least eleven because we're going to make it this year, so it'll be eleven. 11. Yeah, you would have never thought that, would you? You'd have never thought that Manchester United, in the guys that we know it as our generation, would ever go 11 years without a league. When you think how many medals, like, Neville has. But my dad said well, that about played Liverpool Gallagher. for 30 years. You yeah. know, 30 yeah. years. Liverpool and Arsenal. What's Arsenal 20 again? years. Can people remind me? Arsenal never had that. Arsenal 20 years. Arsenal never had that... Um... Dominant. But also, it's a bit no, of a myth. With, do you know, they never, they never defended. Do, do you know, do you know yeah. what's a bit of a myth, true, yeah. a myth with Arsenal? People Six don't acknowledge this. Done. People don't acknowledge this enough. Arsene Wenger, you know Arsene Wenger, Arsenal, Arsene Wenger, all that. <laughs> they, went, they went a decade without a trophy. Yeah. yeah. But people don't seem to then talk about Then they beat Hull City in the FA Cup. Hull City. Yeah. yeah but that's what I'm saying. They were like, happy to beat They their never dominated the back. league like Liverpool. No, they haven't dominated a league like even City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chelsea defended it, didn't they? We we went back to back. Yeah, I think we won it. What would we have done in 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 the space of ten years? We would have won four four. What about the side before the Premier League takeover? You, you, Late eighties. What, living uh, what through about it, that side? Like Wenger no, won a lot. Arsenal. Arsenal. Yeah, it didn't, have, don't, it didn't have a it didn't have a league. What was it? Like one that. league? Nah, Leeds, no, no, they Leeds, never defended it? it. It was Leeds. It like at the time because we lived through it and it was a big rivalry. It felt like Arsenal Wenger's team won. But a Man lot United more won it every year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got to one European final and they bottled it against Barcelona. They that wasn't even the Barcelona. best version of Wenger's team. No, no. it wasn't. No. no, the best the best team was the team the best the best team that he built was the team that Chelsea beat in the European Cup final in the European Cup uh, to stop them getting to the final. Wayne Bridge. That oh, was the invincible team. Three or four semi final. The invincible quarter final. Quarter final. We got to the semi. We knocked yeah, Arsenal yeah, out. Yeah. We played Monaco in the semi. Morientes and that <laughs> they killed us. Ranieri. Yeah, Ranieri. Ranieri played Hasselbank right back. Do you? Because do you, you? You don't. Do you agree with me that the invincible team isn't the best Arsenal team in it? It's it's what it's what they think is the best. Yeah, but it's not. It's their. Well, it didn't win as much. It didn't win as many. Like a lot, a lot of Arsenal the, fans would say the double. That you know, is a ball. That is a ball. Wow! Oh, he slipped as he hit. It was that Sterling who whipped that across. Yeah, yeah. I think so. He's that was well an unbelievable ball by Sterling. Ben Chilwell got him round the back. Yes, what beautiful a pass cross. That How is it only one all? You should be like three one up. Ah, he's just slipped. I think he was going for the pass as well. Now, both teams have had a period of this dominance mm. like this, but Chelsea's have created more chances. 
it felt like. Yeah. No, it didn't. The, the, the Invincibles didn't win as much, but like, like they see it as their best team. They see it as they see it as their team. And also, I think if they'd beaten Chelsea, that and they were so much. Roberto Vieira, right? Yeah. And P- Pires. 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 No, but the, the, the team that went invincible was what Arsene Wenger saw as his best team. And look, I, I would argue potentially that the team that wins more silverware is better. And Arsene yeah. Wenger won two doubles. doubles yeah, yeah. He won a double in 98 and 02, right? Yeah. So he won 98, 02 I'd doubles. I'd say 98 team. The 98 over Mars, over Mars and Elka. Better keeper, Seaman. Mm. Jens Lehmann was never, you know, he's a good keeper. But... Yeah. Siemens World Cup. Yeah. But I, I also think that they would have won the European Cup. They would have actually won it if that they beat done. Chelsea. Mm. And they were better than Chelsea. Obviously, they won the league. Yeah. They, they would have, they would have, if they'd beaten Chelsea. Why didn't they beat you? They, Just mate, you they, they, it out. mate, they were, the game finished 1 0 at Stanford Bridge. They went 1 0 up. Pires scored a header. I think Good Johnson equalised. We then went away and they went 1 0 up again. I think Antonio oh. Reyes. And then Lampard scored. McAlealy a shot. Lampard scored a rebound. And then Wayne Bridge in like the 87th minute or something. Crespo played a one-two. But that team, Chelsea then went on to play a semi-final against Monaco, who were beaten in the final by Jose Mourinho's Porto. Mm, yeah. Ever. And, and you've got to think that, that Mourinho, Mourinho's Porto were great, but Arsene Wenger's Arsenal would have beaten them. Also, Mourinho's and Porto it, it, shouldn't have got there. And also, it would have had an impact because obviously Porto won should, the European Cup. You. Porto won the European Cup. Mourinho won the European <sighs> Cup. Mourinho came to Chelsea. If he didn't win that European Cup, he wouldn't get the Chelsea job. It sort of affected history. Yeah, Sliding and, and doors. You, you say about the Paul Scholes thing. Some would call it a Paul Scholes, Paul Scholes was, um, was onside, miles onside, when that goal was disallowed. And Tim Howard made some mistakes towards the end. The old goal jutters here, I think he's jarred his knee or done something anyway. It looks like a bad one. May just be an impact injury, but if he's twisted something, it was going so quick that is this is there's been a few injuries start of the season. I mean, Couple there's together. usually injuries Knees. in football. No, but no. so many so early. I, do you know? Do you know what though? I, don't know. I, I, don't I do know. kind of agree with what Booby said there. There was something. Who was out? Somebody. There was a team sheet announced. It's like he's he's injured. He someone else is injured. You're like, you've been off for three months. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you injured now? You've been unless it's like unless anything it's to do with the World Cup and cramming that and the cramming the season. I think the, the football players play too. way too much football. I think there's obviously that, but there are injuries. Do you know, do you know on, on that football. on that regard, I saw a ridiculous thing. You know, you know all this hundred minute games now that we're yeah. going to be playing. You know, Jude Bellingham at twenty, he played. He has played. Listen to this; is going to blow your mind. Jude <laughs> Bellingham, honestly, he's, it better. It will. He's played two hundred <laughs> games. I'm going to guess. No, Jude, Jude Bellingham has played more minutes. Than by by the age of twenty, than Wayne Rooney, Michael Owen, <laughs> who's another kid? Oh, and Cristiano Ronaldo combined. That wow. doesn't blow my mind that much. It, does it must do because of Rooney alone. Rooney, I and, Owen, Rooney, Rooney and Owen were scoring Ronaldo goals at seventeen. Ronaldo wasn't regular at Rooney and Owen were scoring Rooney. goals at seventeen. Oh, as well, yeah. Rooney Rooney was scoring goals at sixteen. But you know what? I think that's just because football's changed. Isn't it? It's because it's because he had one season in the championship. Don't he played act 40 like you're games not for Birmingham. Like that. You're trying to play hard. No, no, there's a lot of football in the, in the championship. He, he, played, he played every game for Birmingham. He played 40 games for Birmingham. That's a bigger season than the Premier League. Mm. Was, you know, more games. What did he, he make? Shocked, he scored. He's he's scored, scored cool. he's he scored for Real Madrid um, this weekend. He was celebrating for yeah, the Real Madrid. Yeah, he's giving it a big one. He's so. He's so. He's so captain material, isn't he, Bellingham? I'm so glad he's at Real Madrid and not a tin pot club like Liverpool or anyone else. Do your shirt up. How, how, how mad is it, by the way? I know things change in football and, you know, they probably didn't expect to get the 50 million, but you bid 150 million for Kai Sado, you probably could have got Jude Bellingham in the end. I know. It's no, no, you're, you're absolutely right. Where absolutely. did they find the money for that? Is it because of Fabinho Saudi Henderson and, yeah, money? Saudi Arabia. They, got, they, 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 they managed to earn 50-odd million quid that they didn't think they... They mm. basically They're found... They're never getting that. The change, the change that they found down the back of the sofa was 50 million. Saudi Arabia quid. just freeing up all these dead transfers. Mm. You know, they're just... Do you, know, clubs out? do you know there will be, in, in, in 50 years, people will study this period of football for like... We didn't get to discuss it earlier it properly, is. but Neymar's, um, obviously to talk about him going there. I know. We briefly skirted over it. What, what do you guys think about that? Because Neymar, I, 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 I love him. I think outside Ronaldo, Messi in his era was the guy for me. Oh! Like, just something else. And he's one of those footballers that you very rarely get anymore, those mm. entertainers. Um, they're kind of being coached out of the game. What What do you think yeah, I love about it. his oh, move to Saudi you. Arabia? Uh, fair play, going on your money. I know yeah. he's, I know he's wealthy anyway, but I th- I think 
I think it's a little bit of a shame that he wasn't a, a bit more successful post Barcelona. Mm. But his legacy really of what Brazil, he achieved at Barcelona, pardon? Really with Brazil. Like, he would have loved to see Brazil. him win the World Cup with Brazil. Well, remember that goal he scored? Was it against Croatia? Was it Croatia? He scored a brilliant goal against them and then they went out on penalties. Mm. If that didn't happen, you think his goal takes Brazil through suddenly they're playing Argentina in a yeah. semi. And the tournament in Brazil it, where he does his back. Oh, that was, yeah, that that was, was nasty, one. Yeah. 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 But you, do, you know, do you know where I really thought it? And I think football, all of us, us two, everybody watching, we were robbed of a semi-final in Qatar of Brazil versus Argentina, mm. Messi versus Neymar, yeah, yeah. because somehow Croatia ended up winning that game. Where after Neymar scored a wonderful goal, one of the best goals of the tournament, do you remember, rifled mm. it into the back and into the roof of the net. Um, but yeah, I think I think overall his Brazil legacy potentially. Like, when did Brazil last win a World Cup? 2002. Two. Two. Six. Two. Two, two. What, 2002? Is that the last one? Japan. Oh, that's a long, yeah. that's yeah. a long time, Lost isn't 98, it? Lost 98, 194. It's a long time for Brazil because especially we grew up just kind of one and they always will. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 The but they still got five, which shows you how incredible they were before that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Germany um, got four, haven't they? Yeah. But no, I do, I do agree with you. It's... So it I like Neymar. Game? I like Neymar. And I find, I find the sneeriness towards Neymar, which I imagine we're about to hear soon. I find it a little bit tiresome only because football players like that are the reason I, I heard part of the reason on the I radio, love the like people just going, oh, he's rubbish. He's never had a great season. He's never mm, been, and he's never been top three in the world. And you just think, what? You know what, when they call him a diver? I'm like, mate, he's so hard. Like yeah. imagine every single time he's ever played football, someone has tried to kill him. Yeah. Someone, yeah. So, especially in the Brazilian league, 11, where it's a lot more. From when he was 11 years old and he had all the trickery, someone every time he's put on a fair, pair of football boots, someone's gone. Yeah. I'm going to kill you. Mm. And every single time he's got up and carried on. I think you can have the debate about him being one of the great. People say he's better than Ronaldinho, better than yeah. He's, he's not. He's players. not. He's not that. He's not that. He's the he's best of a generation. Sorry. Better than Ronaldinho. He's the best in the last ten years for Brazil. That's not. That's no, not a bad problem. Gener- yeah. His generation. His <laughs> generation is greatest. He's his generation. I think he will. Obviously, he doesn't have the World Cup to go alongside it, but you become. You become record goal scorer for yeah. for Brazil. You, yeah. you your name will be mentioned alongside those greats. Mm. He'll never be ahead of R nine. He doesn't start in an all time Brazil eleven. Mm, I think he does. Possibly does. I think he does. Out wide. I think I think he gets in it. He he is maybe I, some I, I you put screen. Ronaldinho I'd, there. I'd put him ahead of Rivaldo in my team. Rivaldo won a World Cup. Yeah, but do you know what I mean? Like, Rivaldo also played with R nine and Cafu that's true, and yeah, all these different course, players. Yeah. You know what I mean? It depends yeah. how you. It, it depends how you up line up. Yeah. Yeah. If you were if you yeah. were being a serious football manager, you had to sort of do it theoretically. You couldn't have Ronaldinho, Neymar, Kaká, Romario, Ronaldo. No. You can't and have Pele. all of them. So you'd have to drop someone. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Do you know? Do you know what? This actually makes me think of like a, a Premier League version of this conversation. Go on. Eden Hazard versus Mohamed Salah versus Gareth Bale. Who do you think? If you were to, if I were to ask you to rank the three of these players in one, two, and three, obviously, mm. whoever you say third, you're not being sneery. You're acknowledging mm. their just being in this conversation is a huge compliment to a player. Yeah. But who stands out for you in terms? What are of these we calling their prime here? Because obviously, we're looking at them in their prime. We're obviously keeping it Premier League debate, kind of. Yeah. Sa- Salah, Salah. Well, I don't think we have to make it a, a year, but. Salah, the last three years, maybe five years. Well, Eden Hazard, the, the culmination, possibly 19. So 18, 19, he had 16 goals, 15 assists in 37 Premier League games. Obviously, these players as well are a bit more than pure numbers, but we'll have a look at some of the numbers mm. here. In 17, 18, Mo Salah had 44 goals uh, in the season, 16 assists in 52 games. Um, obviously set the Premier League record until that was beaten by Erling Haaland and scored 10 in the Champions League that season. Set the Premier League record as well. I know football's changed and wide players are more forwards these days, but as a wide player, it's incredible. And then Gareth Bell, 2012-13, what a year that was, by the way. Uh, His last season at Spurs, 26 goals, 14 assists in 44 games, which Mm. earned him his move to Real Madrid. Um, Do we have any preferences based on... I I think that we should, should debate each one individually and then try and come to a reasoned conclusion. Okay. Can I can I just make a statement regarding Eden Hazard that I think is important? Go on. Eden Hazard's numbers, everybody will concede, are very, very impressive. But what you have to remember with Eden Hazard is that he played for Chelsea where quite often he was, like I was going to say the jewel in the crown, but he <clears> wasn't a jewel in a crown. He was just a jewel and the rest was, was, was a baseball cap at best. He was, his numbers in terms of assists are great. 
but he was providing assists for some of the most wasteful profligate strikers that you will ever see. Mm. If he was providing assists for some of the players that maybe Mohamed Salah was playing assists for... What about know, Gareth Bale playing for Spurs, though? I'd say that's comparable. That, I think he played... No, no, but... It's, Chelsea it's, it's, better it, than Spurs' this side. In term, not, in terms of, not in terms of providing assists for a striker to put them away. Like, Gareth Bale was linking up with who? <sighs> but, I actually don't know. It's, not, it's pre-Kane. It's, yeah, but would it... Uh, Twelve thirteen would have been. Let us know. It, well, I mean, would have been your Defoe's. Defoe? What's Defoe? their front Defoe's. Yeah, is that is Defoe out of Bayor, maybe. Peter Crouch. Out of Bayor. Out of Bayor. Defoe. Um, Eden Hazard was providing assist for two of the most wasteful strikers I've ever seen in my life. Avara Morata, like yeah, yeah. truly abysmal, like absolutely abysmal. There's one. There's a game, in fact, that could almost be used as a as a case study for this conversation. Avara Morata at the Emirates. It's just. It's almost comical. It's like, is this bloke even a footballer? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and and equally, like some of Hazard's teammates were known for being wasteful. Mm. Michy Batshuayi was, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, was very wasteful. Willian was very wasteful. Pedro, despite being brilliant, was very wasteful. So, but football's hard like that because you can never have a perfect combination of players that they can all play with. There's always gaps in every squad. I know, and but Spurs Eden have Hazard, a load of gaps. But Eden Hazard was particularly unfortunate. Do you in, think versus Spurs? Yeah, I, I honestly do. Particularly mm. for. There were so many, so many occasions. You know, you know. I do like, think I do think Gareth Bale kind of Dawson blinded behind. here by being a Chelsea fan because Chelsea were a far more competitive team than any side. That Spurs that had Adi Bayo, washed, washed Adi Bayo, no, no, Michael Dawson running behind him as a centre half. Uh, not one not always. Uh, Eden, Eden Hazard like, would have just Hazard joined the Champions League winners. Like the pure fact that he joined, and I know they were at a Chelsea that were dominating mm. at that point, but just merely saying that. Sentence but also the cha- the Champions League winners that he joined, it was Didier Drogba yeah. leading the line. Who then, you know, at points he was linking up with, you know, Loic Remy was there. It was, it wasn't always, it wasn't always excellent. And and that team particularly, you know, we're talking about the 19 team, the Maurizio Sarri team. I mean, you can phrase this, if you're sympathetic towards Maurizio Sarri, which I am obviously not, you'll go, oh, Sarri got the best out of him. That's not what happened. Chelsea's tactics that year, I went to a lot of games that season. Chelsea's tactics were like, get the ball to Hazard and hope for the best. Hmm. He was like, like you, you look at some of the goals he scored that year. He scored a goal against Liverpool where he basically did everything himself. He scored a goal against West Ham where he basically did everything himself. Not because he wanted to. Hmm. There weren't anybody... The goal against Ars- Arsenal. Arsenal uh, where he shook off Coquelin. Yeah. Yeah, in terms but of... But do you honestly think that level that, you're, that you've displayed, that you've talked about, which mm. I think is absolutely fair, Honestly, did that scare? Would, do you think that scared opposition fans in the same way Gareth Bale in his prime you know, did with the athleticism? He could score with both feet. That's that. I don't think Hazard ever reached that season. You know how we League often talk about Bale. football. I'm kind of briefly mentioned it there, talking about Neymar, about footballers kind of being coached out of the game. You know those beautiful artistic. Fo- that's what Eden Hazard was. And look, Gareth Bale and Mo Salah do amazing things on the football pitch, and they've done, you know, world class and have scored goals that you'll remember forever. Of course. But Hazard was more than just sheer numbers, goals, assists. It was how he, he glided over the pitch when he picked mm. up the ball. Yeah, it was his a ability dance. in terms it of the a, strength that he had in, his, dribbling in himself, incredible. turning on the ball. That, that's one of the images I have him in my head is running deep, really deep in, towards the centre center circle, picking up the ball and just turning so effortlessly yeah, yeah. Yeah. and beating players that way. And I think him doing that kind of, because you get lost in these days, goals, assists, all those numbers. kind of things, that... But his numbers aren't even that bad. They're him. amazing. No, no, no. Anyway. They're not, but but, but, yeah, I know but when you saying. compare them to Salah's and all course, that, course, they will yeah. be. For me, though, Mo Salah in this list is someone that's consistently criminally underrated. Like, I hate that he plays for Liverpool, but you look at the sheer numbers he puts up, goals, assists, consistently as well. Mm. Like, we look at Liverpool last season, weren't very good. You know what I mean? But Mo Salah was still there scoring goals. Sadio Mane leaves. Mo Salah's still there scoring goals. And I'm sure... Now with Firmino leaving, that front three changing, Mo Salah will still be there scoring goals, and him popping up on that, you know, on that right hand side, is consistently probably been the best right winger in the world. Mm. I know Mahrez has been up there at various points, but Mo Salah for me, it kind of goes under the radar a little bit as well. I don't know, maybe it's because he's Egyptian; it's not as sexy as being a Brazilian or you know. Well, Gareth playing. Bell's Welsh. I mean, that's yeah. not a massive thing either. But he is, he does either. he does have the benefit of the British media kind of backing him and pushing him. I don't know. He's spent his time in Madrid. Look, I'm getting caught in a little it. finger, but I think yeah, Mo yeah. Salah is I, I, unbelievable. The, the, yeah, I mean, that's there's there's no there's no negotiation around that. And when we come to rank them, I'm sure. I think I'm sure really that's, I mean, that's going to be uh, reflected in the way that we rank it. But w- the reason why I think it's very difficult, Gareth Bale here, is because although he had, 
you know, he's very impressive at Tottenham. I think that Eden Hazard's contribution to the Premier League is bigger than Gareth Bale's. But I think Gareth Bale's contribution to football is potentially bigger mm. than mm. Eden Hazard's. Yeah. So in terms of the... I mean, cont- just he's got a Champions League winning goal that would yeah. be in the history yeah, and of he was part, uh, Yeah, and, and I mean, yes. But even just being part of that team. Yeah. Three in a row. Yeah. We're retaining the European Cup. In Zin- with Zinedine Zidane as your manager and some of those goals that he scored for Real Madrid and part of that like the framework that he was operating in at Real Madrid I feel like I feel like Gareth Bale is undoubtedly Britain's best ever export oh yeah like Britain has never a, well before well, Keegan won the Ballon d'Or when he was in Germany yeah and Hamburg isn't it? yeah yeah two times yeah I, I, the thing with Gareth Bale is even before uh, take away Real Madrid it's a bit of a weird one they always win Champions League he was a massive part of that but even that final season at Spurs where he's picking up the ball from 30 yards hitting it first time on his left foot the, the, the scare factor as a rival fan looking at him I didn't quite have it with with Hazard. Obviously, he played well against City at various points. Mm. Same with Salah, of course. But the scare factor for that one year for Gareth Bell, it's nowhere near comparable to the other two. I think he's. I think Gareth Bell's there, and the other two are just below, like that. See, I'd go together. Mm. Bell's miles above the other two. See, for me, the the, the physicality, oh, the pace. Mo Salah like is top of this for me, and Bale second. I I I I'd lo- I loved watching Eden Hazard more than both of them. Mm. Um, I'd rather watch Eden Hazard pick up the ball and glide past defenders and all that. And I am allowing some of the longevity of how long these guys stayed at their peaks as well. Um, but I do think Salah do you, edges it. Do you know for, Eden Hazard? To bail. It, uh, when I rank them, this this may not be reflected. But in terms of the the raw and natural ability in each footballer, I think that Eden Hazard has more than either. I think that if yeah. if Eden Hazard yeah, had yeah, wanted, you know, if Eden Hazard had had dedicated himself to football in the way that other icons have done, in the way that Cristiano Ronaldo had dedicated himself to football, I think Eden Hazard would have easily or won even Ballon when Bale what, like got his yes. job to Real Madrid. Yes, like obviously towards the end he got known for playing golf and all those things, mm. but I think that was a result of the circumstances yeah. he was in, like. Him to leave Southampton, get to Spurs, and then get there. Mm, yeah, he worked so hard. Do you know what we don't game. talk about? The season he came back to Spurs on loan, the COVID season. No, we he don't was need to ex- talk about that. No, but, yeah, yeah, but there's a the reason of, we don't talk yeah, about. But it was yeah, Spurs were. <laughs> yeah, everyone said they were going to win the league. It was a bit of a, a bit yeah. of banter. You look at the back end of that season, the numbers he did even in that season. Everyone yeah. saying he was finished and it was a terrible Spurs side, whatever. Mate, his numbers were unbelievable. He scored a goal against Leicester City. I think it was final day of the season to get Spurs yeah, into yeah. Champions League. He was running past people. Mate, Bale's unbelievable. Yeah, there's. I mean, he's, there's no doubt that he. There's no doubt that he's a great player. But I think. I think that Eden Hazard. If Eden Hazard had wanted to be the best, <clears> like you have to remember at Chelsea, he had a year off. You know, the year we finished tenth, he ended up scoring the goal in that season. He scored that goal against Tottenham to stop them winning the league, which is obviously one of the best nights of Stamford Bridge in my life. But he didn't really. Perform I feel for like us you could year. eulogize about Hazard for ages, though. If you had to pick. One of the other two. Well, the point I'm, tr- I'm trying to make about Hazard is, I think that he is the most gifted of the three. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, think, think, I, he, I think we agree. If with I think it works against him that season where he took a, a year off. No, of I, course, I don't, I don't add that to his no, kind no, of lineage. No, 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 like, it takes a, yeah, that, no, no, it's subtract. Yeah, of course. The point yeah. I'm making is, I'm trying. What I'm trying to demonstrate is, he had a year off, and therefore he isn't oh, as he dedicated to yeah. football. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think in terms of the natural ability that he possesses, it's more than the other two. But in terms of what he actually delivered on that, you know, it's one of Real Madrid's worst ever signings, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, and Can't when you think about what Gareth Bale did, you know, I know they don't like him, but they they have very weird standards. I think I think Mohamed Salah, however, I think he's I think he's just sensational. His Premier League legacy is stronger than Bale. I think our number twos and threes will decide the total list for everyone watching at home and watching. I think I'm bit. right. If if we're doing this strictly in a Premier League context, I mean Salah has to be number one. Mm-hmm. And it's again strictly in a Premier League context. He's had more time. He's a, a I think strictly in a Premier off. League context, Eden Hazard has to be number two. In a world, if we want to make this a world context, but what is yours? Your gut reaction? Uh, mine's Eden Hazard. Hazard one. Who's number no, two? No, Salah, my, Salah Bale, is number Hazard. one. Oh, Salah's Sal- one for you. Salah oh, is, fine. Salah fine. is number one. Yeah. Fine. I mean, the reason I didn't go into Salah is because you've covered it. You both covered it. Yeah, yeah. And I felt like I had to make the case for Hazard. The debate here, in terms of in terms of what Gareth Bale contributed to football compared to what Eden Hazard contributed to football, yeah, yeah. Gareth Bale is superior. In terms of what Eden Hazard contributed to the Premier League, obviously Gareth Bale weren't here. Maybe these arguments are pointless then. In their prime, <laughs> they for one are, game yeah. in the in the World Cup final, you can only have one in their prime for one game. Who is it? For me, it's Gareth Bale, and it's pretty obvious. That's a in that game, it's Gareth Bale. Question. In that game, injury free, and Gareth Bale. 
but that's a that's a different game. You've, but you've that steered. says it, doesn't it? You want that. You want your man in the World no, Cup could, final. Everything else you, is sorted. It doesn't matter if he's playing with Adi Bayo no, or who or, or Morata. Don't matter. One game, perfect team. World Cup final, everyone's watching, Gareth Bale gets on the side. And that's in, in that right, exact think. question, the answer is Bale. But if I could ask you a different question where you would say, Salah, and I could ask you a different question where you go Hazard. I'm pretty sure I'd say Bale for all of them. <laughs> no, there is there is definitely... There so is, I think if Bale's put in this Jurgen Klopp's at Liverpool, I think he outperforms Salah in terms of goals. It's, it's just all contextual. Nah, it's, nah, it's not, nah, 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 he's nah, been a very nah. unlucky, Gareth Bale, nah, and, nah, and many nah, other players have been. Not a chance for does Bale ever outscore Mo Salah. If he, no, no, he no one on this yeah. list outscores more Salah. No. Salah comes over from mm, Roma, scores 31 goals to, 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 yeah, to no, win no, no. Uh, the no, no, no. Golden Boot. Bale, Bale scores the 40 that season if he's if he's nah. in his prime at the taken at the mate, same point. 44 goals in a season is heavy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's heavy. It's heavy. Let us know what you like think in the comments anyway. Make sure you subscribe into the club as well. Get subscribing. 150k is on the way. Um, thank you to everyone that's tuned in today as well. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure being with you all. It's 1-1 in this game at halftime, so still all to play for. And while you're there, while it's halftime, make sure you're downloading the Super 6 app and join our mini league. Today, we're giving away £1,000 to the player or the person that finishes top of our league. Um, so if you finish top of our loop uh, mini league, it's currently... who? Well, it's currently one all, and uh, obviously I'm <laughs> dominating our private league between Rory, Adam, and myself. That was a smooth transition uh, for Rory there, but it's absolutely beautiful. I'm currently winning the first week, and for me in, in Super Six this season, I'm taking it seriously. I was I was doing all sort of banter results. I was saying United were going to lose seven uh, one, uh, and that was just banter. And obviously, it did actually happen. Um, but this season on Super Six, I will be taking it seriously. Uh, as it stands, I'm getting maximum points. Uh, um, as it stands, Daniel Smith is winning the Daniel grand Smith. as well. So if you're Daniel Smith and you're watching this, a grand could be on its way. To but you've got to say to everyone, you've got to say they are in this game. Join the, the, the mini way, league. By the way. Join the mini league club twenty three. Yeah, club. Try and get 7K, 7K in the mini league. That'd We're going to have loads of new prizes throughout the season as well. Um, and maybe some of you could get a hand. Have, have you got one of them shirts yet? I've not been given one. We gave one away the other day. I haven't even got one yet. Yeah, no, I don't not even given one. At all. Uh, it's, it's ridiculous, um, really, but it's what it is. At all. Uh, what do you think this, how do you think this game's going to end? I, do you know what? I don't know. I don't, I don't understand. Is this your prediction, 1-1? So, yeah, one or I thought that both sides are a bit of quality, but not enough to kind of dominate the game. But Liverpool moments have looked fantastic, but they've got no control in midfield. Um, Chelsea similar as well. It's end to end. It could be three all by the end of uh, the second half. Uh, I mean, it could be. It could be three two. It could, could be three be, two. It could be a could range be, of score lines. It could be four two. I'm hoping it's one all. It stays the same. Could be six six for my super six prediction. Could be seven. Could be yeah. Two. Any connection of numbers. Um, you know any kind of. What score else line. could it be? It could be five five six six <laughs> yeah. seven seven eight eight. <laughs> Five five would be good, wouldn't it? Five five be great yeah, for the for the stream for everyone watching at home. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. <laughs> and if you've already watched us, and you've not subscribed. What are you doing? Yeah, what? Are, oh, Diaz is idiot. Uh, what was that? Diaz is number seven, right? That was uh, Sabozla, I think. Oh, oh, it's Diaz. Sorry. <laughs> I actually need glasses, lads. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not even trying to wind people up. Um, Jackson's got hit in the uh, gangulies by the looks of things. It's a horrible feeling when that happens, isn't it? Horrible yeah. feeling. You know, the worst one is when it skims it like that. <gasps> Van Dyke's absolutely <coughs> one-footed him in his balls. Do you think a footballer has lost their private parts playing football at the highest level? Do we know of any major injury? Someone had a testicular injury before, isn't it? Like a, a burst balloon. So, no, I remember Google that. A Go burst Google water balloon. Premier League footballer testicles. Yeah, because someone Google. <laughs> you, they won't be allowed on the Wi-Fi network. That's private. <laughs> You're not allowed to do that. You can't Google that kind of stuff. Nah, someone did do something mad to their testicles. Yeah, that was, um, who was that? Scott Dan ruptured his testicles. What, so he's a eunuch? Guy's playing without balls. You know what a eunuch is? Like in Game unique. of Thrones and all that. <laughs> the bowl guy from Game of Thrones. I don't, I've never watched You've never watched episode that? of Game of Thrones. Keep that going. Because if you need to go to China or a long flight or America, you can keep that, store that on the plane for you. No, nah, I don't want to watch Games of Thrones. Mate, it's a great show. They ruined oh. it at the end, but a uh, great show. A load of cack. Okay, corner for Liverpool. Absolutely massive now. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Scott Dan don't have any balls. That's crazy. No, no, Where's he playing football now? He ruptured his balls. Can someone in the comments let me know? Where's Scott Dan playing football right now? Do you see why I scored? Uh, I, I saw um, Leroy Lita score a goal the other day. 
Leroy Leet is still playing football. It's crazy. Is he? Yeah. Well, who? Leroy Leet, he's playing for Wildstone Town. Did you play for what, Wildstone? Will Stone? Rainer, no, yeah, I, I will might be, be wrong. Yeah, that's like who you want, Sam. Oh! <laughs> Um, we're talking up. about before you, but when you went to the toilet, footballers that have ruptured their testicles playing Oi! football. Any, any that come to mind? Ruptured their testicles playing I football. I didn't know. No. Scott Dan is is the. Uh, uh, do you know who must have done? Phil Bab. <laughs> Phil Bab. Never. No. Never Remember that? that Phil Bab. He's the one who's the pole. Have you not right? seen Casar? Have you not seen like the famous goal that Pierre Luigi Casaraghi? Do you remember him? No. Wow. Pierre Luigi Casaraghi played for Chelsea, and he scored a goal at Anfield where he went round the keeper. And shot, and the ball was trickling in. And Phil Babb, who Liverpool signed from Coventry, was a tried to stop it and like sprinted in, slid, and then went bang into the post and like hit, you know, like, so if that's him sliding and that's the post. He just went, what, boom. Nasty way to go, that. He must have. <laughs> he didn't he did, he did go. He must. No, his balls <laughs> no, no, did. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> nasty way to go. No, no, no. He didn't die, mate. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm getting hey, Yeah, he died. Where did he die? How did he die? Uh, he slid into the Anfield Why post. are your Twix is all, always located around Oh, mate, you're bringing studio. us Twix. <laughs> mate, you is, you is good at sharing. Oh, look at that. He's so graceful. Oh, God. Mate, you might as well not have bothered. He's like a little, he's like, it's like a Tyrannosaurus. Just went, <laughs> Diplodocus just went flying past the studio. <laughs> yeah, Dippy Douglas. Did you used to watch that dinosaurs? Remember that? Gone! Oh, oh he's God. lively here, minute number 17. Who's that? I don't know the numbers. <laughs> Who is yeah. it? <laughs> Say the name of the player. Or I need to get used to this. You've got too many new players. This is the problem. It might be Chuck Wameka. It like might be Nicholas line, Jackson. Cut him. Potch is like, who's he again? You make, mate, there's too many the players. You know, we got rid of 12 players and we still have a bloated squad. <laughs> Can you imagine getting rid of 12 players in one window and still having too many players? He come from Brighton. Who, Sanchez? Yeah, he come from Brighton. Mm. Yeah, but I'm helping the audience there because they don't know what you're pointing at. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you've got Good to go, that. just for the future, Good you've that, got yeah. to go, Robert Sanchez. No, no, but I, know you're, I know you're a professional, so, okay. uh, you know, <laughs> I just make you look good. Yeah, no, Ro yeah, Robert Sanchez came from Brighton. Do you think that opened up the door to the Caicedo, just in terms of, like, doing business? Yeah. Or maybe, maybe you, even... Been doing Ro business for you years. Know, mate, that's what it was. You know Caicedo was going to Liverpool, and then he changed his mind. It would be Robert Sanchez phoning him up. <laughs> Robert Sanchez. Or Cucurella. Or Colwill. 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 They're all on the phone. They've got a WhatsApp group. But then he also had a missed call from Graham Potter who was like, bruv, you do not want to go yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> I promise, I promise no, you. Robert Sanchez don't, don't have there. his number. Blocked yeah. him. Nobody wants his number. To look. Oh, Robert Sanchez done well there. Claiming the ball. Get away. Give his box. Kepa Ariza Bilaga. Oh, he's... Has ended up at Real Madrid. Hey, do you know How what these players do it? Land on their feet. No, they, I can't. Be, well, do you know what? Do you know what was amazing about Ariza Blaga? Obviously, he's ended up at Real Madrid. Do you know there was a moment last last week? It was Bayern Munich. Like he was going to Bayern Munich. I was like, oh, time. Wait, what? How can he possibly be going to Bayern Munich? They're a really good club. They're a really big club. How can they possibly want him? And then I went, too sure. They know. And I was like, hang on a minute. Too sure didn't play him. Too sure did everything he could not to play him. <gasps> oh. But no, I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. But the fact that Chelsea have managed to get any sort of money back for him is huge because like, his value had totally plummeted. Mm. The only thing that came out of last season, potentially on a Kepa Ariza Balaga -like scale, that he just strolled. <laughs> oh, I to bend over. Man, what are you doing? Sorry. You, you forgot to bend over. What are you no. doing? Yeah, but they've got to know that I'm coming and then cut to someone else. No, you've just got to I mean, you walk them. across. Cut to Adam every, there's one, two, three, just three, 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 just half. Handball, apparently. No, I don't want to take... Let's take what you want. I don't take want to take the whole There may be a handball here. These two are discussing uh, the joint, situation. Joint, joint, joint. No, no, I'm good. Thank you. Um, um, that's right, mate. From. That's fine. Yeah, just take that away from me. Um, handball. That's a handball. Sorry, that's handball. That is handball. I think it's going to be a penalty to Liverpool. No, but you wouldn't be asking for a penalty if it went in. His hand was there. Does that count? Does that mean anything? I don't, I don't, go just, there. I don't know. What you just said doesn't make sense. That's handball. If that goes in the back of the net, they're not saying penalty. Literally, his hand was here when it hit him. That's not an actual position. Is this a penalty? They don't even know. Rory mate. said no with a nod of his shake of his head. Oh, VAR is around. looking at it. This is going to be a penalty. No, it can't be a penalty. Wait. Because if, if, if it goes in, they Wait, don't want a penalty. Wait, he said carry on. It's not a penalty. That's a penalty. 
they didn't know what correct going decision. On. Correct decision. Clearly correct. I can't believe that's not been given. Go on. It should never. Be they don't even know what the rules are anymore. That's the reality. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. I love Come on. That. He's like... Great play, Conor Gallagher. He's like shit pushed in there. Great play, got... Conor Gallagher. What? Not there. What? Conor Gallagher. Yeah, Conor Gallagher slam shabbos like there. I loved it. Mm. Po Poch will love Gallagher in terms of his mm. work rate. Oh, yeah, I, th I think almost... people, people are very sneery to Gallagher. I don't really understand it. Yeah, like, he's a good player. Was. Yeah, I know, I know. But yeah, like, but I, I was just saying that Chelsea have got high standards. You spent a billion yeah, quid, a good and he's still in the squad. Oh. Yeah, that's a penalty. Jesus, but you I know what it was? It's come off Diaz's head. That's what I didn't see first. No, but you. So the, Diaz is like a couple of mm. feet. If in it front bounces of him. into the net, that's a goal. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? Who's going to call for ball? Chelsea. Yeah, <laughs> penalty. <laughs> book him, book him, and take a penalty. We take our chances. <laughs> uh -oh. Here we go. Yes, what a good pass! Ball, Come on, ball. hit it, hit it. Yeah, oh! Ben Chilwell, you fuck off. The touch and chill well. The touch His and chill was well. So poor. He's taking it so it far. Took him away from it. What a beautiful assist that was. Away from the goal. Mate, ben Chilwell's going to score bundles of goals this he season. He's so far scored there. Yeah, that... He's got a lovely ping Look, on him as well. Look, that's poor. beautiful there. Oh, he just let it go away from him. Do you know Ben Chilwell in that position is so perfect as well, usually? That's a shame. What a he's, touch. A, he's exactly the man you want there. Connor! Oh, what, what a challenge! What a tackle, Connor Gallagher! What a challenge! Yeah, he's a boy, isn't he? He's a boy, isn't he? What player he is. He's fantastic. He had it under control the whole time. He knew exactly what he was doing. Oh, yeah. Lovely, Look at this. lovely Look at this. I like him, I do. Hey, it's just like watching Brazil. <laughs> Not that oh. one. That one. That was Stoke City. Oh, it's so good. It was so good. Matty weren't Stoke City. You got beat 2 0 by Ipswich. Yes. Ipswich, newly Ipswich promoted. Ipswich could come up. Go on, Kim McKenna, lad. I hope not. I quite like it. Right. Ipswich are class. I no. quite like it. You want Ipswich to get promoted? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I have all the clubs Trapped that are down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I like that. No, no, no. We are the Trapped I like. I, got, I really I like Plymouth Argyle promoted. Bristol City promoted. And Sheffield what? Wednesday promoted. Sheffield Wednesday, yes. I'm all in on that. Sheffield Wednesday, yes. Sunderland. Plymouth Argyle. Sunderland. No, no, not Sunderland. Them Poznan and twats can fuck right off. Cider Derby. Do they like the Plymouth? Do they like the Cider Derby? Say Cider Derby again. Cider Derby. Yeah, yes. Plymouth's a beautiful little way day pie face lives down there. So and do, all you, that. do you like any? So do you like? Do you like? All, do you have like a soft spot for all West? Do people I from hate, the West Coast? I hate Bristol Rovers. I hate Swindon. No, Town. no, you got to like Swindon. No, I hate Swindon. You have to like. No, Swindon. I hate Swindon Town. No, they, passion. Swindon were your first representative. Nope, nope. They were your first representative know, know. into the Premier League. Yeah, and that's embarrassing. Hundred goals that, that, they that's conceded. That's the state of football in Bristol. It's you know, you know, do you remember that Swindon? Hundred goals. <laughs> Swindon. Hundred goals they conceded. Man. Swindon, I, I, they're terrible. No, but you love Swindon. I don't like Forest Green and I don't like Bristol. I hate Bristol Rovers. Here we go. It's Forest Green down there. Yeah, Gloucestershire. Near yeah, Spraggy. Who are the ones who are um, all green and that Forest Green, isn't it? They had, I mean, they had Duncan, Duncan Ferguson. Ferguson. It'd, be, it'd be ridiculous. Then they hired um, the first woman to ever take charge of a first team in professional football Caretaker in this country. Manager. Serena Wigan. Yeah. She's not there anymore, though. But, uh, oh, that's, that's England manager, isn't it? Serena Wigan, man. It weren't her. Yeah, she's England manager. The girl that took over at Forest Green. No, no, I know, yeah, thing. what you're on yeah. about. I'm on about the name you said to England manager. a random person. <laughs> like, it was nearly right. Um, it's still one Give me one a migraine, here. some of this. You don't even know, you know what I mean? Give me a migraine. You don't even know what a migraine yeah. is until Rory said it. Well, I've got one now. I need paracetamol. <laughs> Back room paracetamol right now. I'm joking. <laughs> oh. Come on. Come on, Blues. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why I'm laughing. God, it's going to be a long old season. Mate, it? you around. I, I hope City get knocked out of the Champions League, the League Cup and the FA Cup so I don't have to do any possible. streams. I'm not coming in for him. I'm not coming in for him. Nope. Come on. Come on, chat. I'll see bad. Come on, Blues. We're so good. Look at this fight. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Mate, I've never seen us play. Well, I have in my life, but not for a long time. Look at this. That's oh, a yeah. foul. Referee. Foul. 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 He's got in the way. Baldy's oh, got an assist. Ref <laughs> press that. <laughs> Come on. You know. The ref was in Chelsea's press. Though. Come on. Look at Conor Gallagher. Conor Gallagher yeah. scoring the winner, oh, you know. Bro. I know. You right? Could we everything all right on there? Yeah, just checking the, <laughs> everything state, all right? state of the stream. Yeah. The stream's uh, doing all right. In fairness, I wanted to know that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Come on. Look at the way we look after this ball. Look at this. At the moment, Chelsea are just knocking the ball around. That's why Rory's so happy. Luring Liverpool out. Liverpool are all oh. in their own half at the minute. They're defending for their lives. The old terrified. Jota leading the press. Defending for Chelsea their lives. Composed in Conor possession. Gallagher, look at him. 
Here we go. He's fantastic. Look at this, Chuck. Oh, look at this. Oh, stop it. Ooh, stop wow. it. Sexy. Sexo Fernandez. Mil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. Go on. Oh, go on. What a ball. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, this is prime bar. It's so good. It's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck and Baker and Jackson have been excellent today. Fair play. They really have, you know. And Sterling's worked his bollocks off. We are. Oh, stop it. I mean, I can't remember the last time Liverpool touched the ball. Do they know the... They need a midfielder. Jürgen, mate. Jürgen, what you're supposed to do is try and get hold of the ball. <laughs> Somebody tell him what's what here. Do they know the second half? Battled isolated. by our brilliance. They can't, totally he can't have McAllister battled. by himself. Look at this. Even at Brighton, he Look, wasn't the deepest Every man behind the ball, they're hoping for a point. They're hoping for a point at Stamford Bridge. But, but you know, at Brighton, he was just a, a central midfielder. He's quite advanced, wasn't he? Even for Argentina... He's playing defensive midfielder by himself. That's hard, you know. That's, oh, that's hard. I just don't. He's see getting how isolated. He don't win the league. No, nah, but he's got three centre backs behind him. No, but you still be isolated. He's very you can't, you can't have ten centre backs behind you. Still be isolated in midfield. <laughs> no, no, you in midfield. He's being isolated. No, but you got. Don't matter, you... It don't matter if you, who's got behind him. <laughs> Look at what this. I just can't believe the way we're playing football. Right, so there you go. Liverpool player touched the ball for one second. Well played, Robertson, sir. What did that say? Was that Twix laced with what? Speed? Doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's if you're playing right? one in midfield, you get isolated. Oh, that's poor from Chilwell. Chilwell, yeah. come on. Better than that. See, oh. the problem for Chilwell is he knows he has no reason to be inspired because he knows that Cucurella is like his replacement and therefore he will never be replaced. Poch looks good. Poch is the guy, isn't he? He looks good. Yeah, Poch is the guy. Mm. So do you think he doesn't like Spurs? He, he hates actively them. hates Spurs he hates, because of how they treated yeah, him. Not Spurs the club. No, like leaving. Daniel Levy and them. Everything about them. Fans, players, uh, <laughs> stadium, uh, youth you, team. What do you reckon their reaction uh, is to Beyonce him? Beyonce now, because she played there. When, when uh, they game. When no, they you, imagine you beat them at they their hate, stadium. Oh, we will. We will. We'll do the double over them, as always. Um, <laughs> no, they hate him. They really yeah, hate him. Yeah. You, you'll always, you know, everybody's felt it. When you've loved, you hate. You know, yeah, it turns my, hate. It's my mount thing, isn't it? That wasn't fun. Yeah, you can't, you can't just collapse on the ball and hope fun. for the yeah, best. Pathetic. I hate that. Uh, it's modern football for you. That is ridiculous. Super 6, by the way, have sponsored us. It's totally free to play. Make sure that you join our league. It's completely free. You just get the Super 6 app and you join our mini league, which is Club 23. You just put the code CLUB23 into the Super 6 app. You join it, it's great fun, you can win loads of money and it won't cost you a penny. Make sure that you get stuck in, please. Because also, it massively helps us out if you would do that. And if you enjoy the club and you want to keep watching it, you need to do this. <laughs> Simple as that, really. Also, it's free to play. You predict six scores every single round um, and you could win. Usually up for grabs is a quarter of a million pounds on a weekly basis. But also, you're gonna, we're going to give some prizes away to our mini league winners. And today's winner, or this weekend's winner, is going to get a grand. That's uh, crazy. That's crazy. A grand, yeah. How many people in the league right now? We're aiming for 7,000. Again, Club 23 6, on the Super 6 app. How, so how many? Seven, so we've got 6,200 in there. See right. if we can get a bump that's now. That's good, yeah. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Great hit. I've never heard you this ecstatic since we started Mate, we're the club. So good. It's clean slate. Everyone starts so with a clean good. slate. Mate, this is the best part Everyone's of the season. Everyone's got hopes of winning the league. Mm. Some people, and also some of the teams have got hopes and dreams, but other teams have got ways and means. Some are supreme dream teams, always up with a scheme. <laughs> Will, I, uh, Will Smith? What? Get a superstar. Oh, yeah. Sorry. We've got hopes yeah, and dreams. Yeah, yeah, We've got yeah. ways and means. We're supreme dream team, always he up with a scheme. He was about to say Will Smith. Yeah. Well, did you mean Will I yeah, Am? I thought, I thought it was from... Um, Will Smith? Yeah. The Men in Black song. Na, 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 Emery has called him, hijacked the deal. Uh, Aston Villa, no Nick and Jack Harrison. Mate, instead of it's Everton. becoming a thing, isn't it? And there's one Harrison. more. There's one more thing. <laughs> uh, Villa have just been informed. No, they're trying to hijack it, hijack it. That he's out for five to six weeks. Mm. That wow. won't put them off the signing. I would have thought. <laughs> it's becoming a soap opera signings, aren't they? Like it's becoming, it's becoming like an episode of some sort of like. You know what I think Netflix it is though show. now as well? 
because you've got so many different journalists and so many different people that are so connected to all these agents and you get updated on it every step yeah, of the way. Yeah, yeah. You're now more aware of people, mm. you know, like we all, back in the day, you'd only learn about someone rejecting someone about a year down the line. Oh yeah, I mm. could have gone there and it didn't happen. Yeah. I'll whatever. tell you what though, the, the, talking to transfer cycles, Harry Kane. Harry Kane is gone. That's mental, isn't it? I can't, I actually can't believe that we are embarking on a Premier League season that will not involve Harry Kane. It is crazy. It is, it is absolutely crazy. I can't, like seeing those images of him at training with Bayern Munich and then on the bench for Bayern Munich and coming on and all that in the Super Cup. Um, it was just so weird seeing, it was like I was watching a computer game. Like, you know, when you make yeah, a sign yeah. on a computer game, that's not really supposed to happen. It did seem very, very weird. And I'm sure it'd take a long time for him to settle in. But what do you guys think about the move? Do you think credit to him? Great move, well done, mm. go and win your trophies. Mm. Or is it like you've taken all this time to make your move and you've probably made I think, the wrong I, th move? I think the former for what you said there, I think we have to give him a lot of credit. Like I think we're, we'll explore, is it a mistake? Is it the right move? But I think what you have to do for t f with regard to Kane is give him the credit because he has done Tottenham nothing but a brilliant service. <clears> He's been an unbelievable player for them. They're best in the Premier League era, undoubtedly, arguably the best ever. And... He then, he then provided them with a, a significant transfer fee when perhaps he didn't have to do that. It, you know, he could, he could have waited. He could have got himself a free move uh, in January. He could have started sorting that out. But instead of that, he moved to Bayern, secured his team some, a lot of money and also didn't go to a Premier League rival. So I think in terms of his legacy and what he means to Tottenham, I think he... I actually think they should name a stand after him. I think he's been that good. He has right. protected yeah. that a lot, hasn't it? Yeah, I, I think you can have the opinion that going to Bayern Munich wasn't the right move. And, and, and I still applaud him for doing it. And he's going to win trophies. Obviously, he didn't w win one in his first opportunity uh, yesterday. I think there's a massive uh, mistake there, though. I, I, I feel sad that he's playing for not a global institution of football. Bayern are an institution in Europe, uh, in Germany. But they're not Real Madrid, they're not Barcelona, they're not Man United. Uh, there's only a couple of clubs like that. And he's not playing at the they, highest standard, they, in my opinion. I disagree that, with Bundesliga is not the highest standard. It's not a very well-watched uh, league. Mm. And Harry Kane should be playing in Spain or England. I know there's only a couple of clubs that could have afforded him. It didn't work out logistically. But Bayern Munich, there's something very unappealing about the move. I'm not saying he's not going to be successful. And I think fair it's play more the him. league than the club, though. I think, mm. I think your point is more about the Bundesliga as a club and maybe you know, the amount of people that watch on TV and so on. And I don't think, you know, he's the kind of player to change that massively. He's not a Ronaldo Messi type figure where the audiences are going to follow him massively, I don't think. Um, but I do think Bayern Munich is is just what you're... To, they are a household name. They are an institution. They go above and beyond, I think... The Bundesliga you know, like, yeah. is, is, is arguably uninspiring. Like. The Bundesliga yeah, no, is what I mean about the move. He deserves I don't think, a Real Madrid, I think Bayern Munich is an elite club. I think we've got to be careful not to kind of just bundle them in with the yeah, rest. Yeah, I, I think I've said it in the right way in, in the sense they are, we're football fans. We, lo we, we respect Bayern Munich. But as a global institution, people love watching Real Madrid for the sake of it. Barcelona because of Messi. Uh, Bayern Munich aren't watched by neutrals because of the league they play in and because they aren't, they aren't massively appealing. They're not. Mm. They're massive. What can I say as a City fan? They're, they're, they're an institution in European football, but he's now playing in a league we won't be watching. The no, way, I agree with that. The way that... And if you this do watch, it's probably two or three fixtures. The, the, way yeah, that, yeah. the way that this will work for Kane, and maybe this is part of his decision-making process, is if he were to win a league, obviously we can't be, we can't be uh, looking down our nose at winning a title. A title anywhere is, is significant. And winning a Bundesliga, even though it would be helping Bayern Munich to secure, what, their 13th in a row, it would still matter, particularly to him who hasn't won a trophy yet. But I've got, I got, I got the narrative here. I've got the story, right? I genuinely do. Imagine this. And this could happen. He's partnered with Thomas Tuchel, a European Cup winner, a European Cup expert, actually. He took a Paris Saint-Germain team to the final as well. So he knows how to do it. He's at Bayern Munich, a club with you know huge pedigree in Europe. They are capable of winning it. So in the Champions League, something that I feel is guaranteed, they're going to play Arsenal and Harry Kane's going to score at the Emirates. Like, that's happening, don't you think? Like, that's just written yeah. in the stars. You know, sometimes those things just align and... and Ultimately, that will happen. The Champions League final was at Wembley. <sighs> Harry Kane winning at Wembley. Tottenham's home for a while when he was playing there. I feel like if the European dream were to come true, while I concede it's unlikely, I think there are better teams in Europe. I think Manchester City are far more likely to win. He does elevate Bayern their Munich chances, amongst their, their chances, I know. 
imagine if he were to go there, maybe in his first year, win a Bundesliga and a Champions League. Suddenly, boom. Then I'm, yeah, I, I exactly, agree with you. Exactly, but, exactly, yeah. uh, today. But suddenly, tomorrow, if that were to happen, you go, well, it's the best thing he could have And we all done. thought, we mm. all thought Lewandowski should have won a Ballon d'Or. <laughs> but he didn't because of COVID and stuff. He but, did, though, didn't he? Yeah, he, he did. He, was robbed, like, he yeah. should have won it. And I think, obviously, if, if Harry Kane goes on to do that, he can. Yeah. He can put his name yeah, yeah. down for a ballon. Does he does he have to win the Champions League there for it to be deemed a success or just winning the league? I think Cop- three three league titles a- in a row would be history on some level. It would be a little bit grim because of the, the rivalry in the league isn't good enough. They shouldn't be winning 15, 16 in a row, uh, Bayern Munich. Um, but I watched Bayern Munich last season. They played us. We, we absolutely obliterated them at the, at the uh, Etihad. They were missing a striker massively. So this isn't a Bayern Munich side just signing them for the sake of it. They got some fantastic pace. Sane, Nabry, Kimmich, Goretzka got an unbelievable squad. Mm. They were missing a striker. They still had Chupa Moting there and all that. So he will massively improve them. But the thing is, he's got three shots that we won a year of winning the Champions League. He's got three gambles of winning the Champions League. If he doesn't do it, it's a flat move, in mm. my opinion. Mm. No. no. Not is is is, is is not an argument that he can go there, pick up the trophies that he wants, challenge, and come back and still get that record. Um, yeah, yeah. it's only forty eight, isn't it? He's going to be thirty four at the end of this deal. Um, if he if he sees the deal out, like he doesn't he doesn't necessarily have to stay for the. Full he probably thinks years. it's easier to leave Bayern Munich in two years and get to a Man United, a uh, yeah, Chelsea. Also, Arsenal, so you've got to think if if you th- if you analyze the way that he plays football, two things are very important. Firstly, the way that Kane plays the game means that Kane at 34 is still a fantastic prospect. The other thing is, it's a complete misnomer that he's an injury-prone player. It's, no, it's, he's not. it's a complete... Yeah, it's a misnomer. Like, it's not true that he... But you know when people go, oh, is that, the, the thing that you often hear is the glass ankle. One, an, Kane. one ankle it's a, not tr- a season. It's just not true. Yeah. Like, he played more minutes than anyone else for Tottenham last year. That's amazing. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I think he played every game. Mm. I think he played every game. Yeah. Like, he... It, it's just not true. He had his in- ankle injury. He had his ankle issues, mm. and it's recovered. And if you look at his form over the past three years, he he played an awful lot of. Is there something you... about the league where it's just like I know, we talk about the Farmers League and all that? But is there something that's a slightly easier league for him? All he has to do is stay up top. He can manage himself. Goals, well. exactly. and manage himself. Age. He doesn't have to be chasing games. You look at the likes of Thomas Muller there and some of mm. the older players. They've managed their careers so well, um, and, and and they'll get a bit of longevity out of that. Maybe he's looking at his international career for England as well. One of the things about Germany is it's not. It's not one of them leagues where you're going to go right. We can't we can't play him for England now because no. he's dropped down so such a big level. I think he'll still be. Do you not think still be though, a regular for England do, there do not, as well? Do you not think that they've basically said they've made this about the Champions League? Go on, son. Yeah. He's oh, in. he's burned him. He's done him. Yeah. Oh. oh. Such a thorn in anyone's side, isn't he? Such a good player. Good pace. Yeah, he should have scored a goal today, but that was a good, it'll very come, good it'll run. It will come. I think they're third favourites to win the Champions League. Actually, I, I don't. I don't rate Barcelona. City, I don't rate Arsenal. City, I don't Ra- rate City, Real, Man United to win it. With all due respect, I, I think it's City, Real, and Bayern third. I think that's fair to say. Maybe you think Real Madrid ahead of City. Bayern Munich may be ahead of Real Madrid now. Yeah, because of close. because of the signing of Harry Kane. But then look at Bellingham. They've, you know, they've just lost squad. Benzema and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, you've lost they're some goals. No, I think there's only three sides that can but win. Mate, it. they got so battered by you. Like yeah, it but, wasn't but, it wasn't just uh it wasn't no, no, but it they, wasn't were game, but what, they were was in the game they were in the game of 5-1 something like that yeah but mate they were clear through on goal and they had Sane that missed one if Harry yeah, Kane's through on goal he yeah, might yeah, score a hat trick scores yeah yeah you know even uh, yesterday in the game against Leipzig they they created such a huge amount of chances that you think stick Harry Kane on the back post there he's scoring goals i think he could have a 40 plus goal season this season easy, what man. do you think what do you think he needs to do in germany to make this move worth it. So let's say that he's written off the Shearer record. Let's say that... Win one trophy. No. A, a, Bundes, a, Bundesliga, a Bundesliga isn't worth the Premier League all-time He record. needs to win three. One Bundesliga isn't the Premier League record, surely. I think we're overlooking... Remember, he's, remember in that period, he's also going to be competing for the Champions League with Bayern Munich. They are going to compete. Whether they win it or yeah. not is a different story. Your alternative is literally staying at Spurs and just becoming top goal scorer of the league which probably gets broken by someone a little bit further down the line, a record that's eventually gone. Like, do you know what I mean? It, it's ultimately gone. I think winning, being part of a Bayern Munich team for a season that wins the league, that's something you'll remember forever. You'll have that trophy in the bag. You know, it is uh, one of the top five leagues in Europe, ultimately. And I, it's winning the I, league. I disagree with that. I, I'm, I, I, rate, I rate and understand your point, but I think that, I think that breaking Shearer's record... Is worth more than one Bundesliga title, and and but how long to... Shearer's record? For, for for all he knows, Erling Haaland decides I ain't leaving 
right? Leaving. Yeah, the fact, title's worth in more. In fact, Erling Haaland just needs to commit probably six, seven years. I thought you were just saying any cup. Know. I thought you meant like the cup yesterday. No, 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 like the league. Like, yeah, if imagine being part one of a league but, winning team. Mate, Haaland could overtake him in seven years anyway. Hmm? Haaland won't be here. Who, who, is the, who is the Division One record goal scorer before the Premier League takeover? No one knows. Do you know what I mean? Like, I can tell you, he won the Premier League in 19, 1999. Do you know what I mean? So, no, trophies are historical. Goal, goal records no, and no, world records, and you know th- these things. No, no, but you're, you're asking, you're asking something before our, you're asking something before our time. Yeah, it's, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that, but, but it's you, the point that goal. No, but you, know, you can be a forgotten player in a. Like, R9 like, had the mate, most goals in the World Cup. Then it's closer. It's going to be Mbappe. No, I but, mean, these things come and go. No, but you don't live forever off that. Like. You can you can be a, you can be an mm. insignificant member of a league of a of a championship team, can't you? You can be an insignificant member. Do you of think Shearer is as fondly remembered without having that league winning title? Or yeah, two hundred sixty goals in the Premier. Like you are the Premier League top ever goal scorer. I think any, temperate. Not anyone you know. can score goals, but like to temporary win, winning is. winning things is what people play football for, man. It just I, I think is. Leg- legacy and history as so well. So what happens to Shearer's yeah. record if he's never won the Premier League and then Harlan gets 261 You've also goals. got to remember Kane isn't a Spurs He's second man. on the list. Yeah, he's second on the list. Still so incredibly impressive. The number one's gone. He's not won the Premier League. It's, it's, it's a hypothetical. It's, it's, it's a hypothetical that hasn't come up. If, if Alan Shearer hadn't won a Premier League at yeah. Blackburn Rovers, he would still... Or only bring have... him out because Harry Kane hasn't won the league in England mm. and he will win something in Germany. He'll win the league. I think... You know, Look, this, is, this is a game of opinions. <laughs> oh my god! This is a, I know he goes there. He goes there in Dortmund win the league. You know, there was that picture of him passing the trophy yesterday in Germany and all that. And you're thinking, yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, it's it's just like imagine, Liverpool. Imagine if he was the problem at Spurs. You know, it'd be hilarious. <laughs> Tottenham, Tottenham win the league. No, no. <laughs> Tottenham win the league. Tottenham now. win the Carabao <laughs> Cup. Even. Do you know and, what it'd be and like? Do- and, and Munich win nothing. Do you know what it'd be like? Do you remember when Michael Owen left Liverpool yeah, to win a European, European Cup? Cup. He left to win the European Cup. Mm. He left. Liverpool had their greatest night, arguably their greatest night in their history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All, all when Michael Owen was like, I've got to go. I've got to win a European Cup. I'm going to Real Madrid to win the European Cup. Sorry, Brett. Why is Rhys James, James, James is injured. This oh, is, my God. He's not injured again. We were just talking about this earlier. Look, we don't know how serious the injury is. He's going off it's, it's quite knee. happily. No, he's um, on running, his own. sprinting. So maybe it's a precautionary one, but... If anyone needs a injury-free season, it's him. Mm, mm, Am I missing? So you might just be getting subbed, right? Am I wrong in saying that? I wouldn't have thought so. He he's had a knock, right? It could be precautionary, though. Bivy is kind of right. Maybe it's just because he's gone straight onto the bench. Just as exciting. Down a ton- just as exciting mm. from Leon. Has he gone down a tunnel? It's yeah. it's a slight. It's a it's a real concern regarding Reece James because you know what? He's just never fit. He's just never fit. He's one of those players that he's one of the best players in our team. One of the most important players in our team. But it's a bonus if he's available. Like, you can't ever can't really that. rely on him. Yeah. He's so injured. Can't build a side Salah, Salah, Look how Vex Salah is I getting honestly, subbed I honestly there. think that he's... L- I honestly think... Yeah, he's furious, Salah. I mean, you probably want, wanted be, the but... goal, is not it? Wanted the goal for the record. You know, the first day thing. You, look, he's just called Klopp a twat while he threw that on the... But, you see that? He's livid. He threw, threw, threw his tape he, on the ground and went, livid. Jürgen Klopp, you twat. <laughs> <laughs> I I seen it. Is that Jurgen Klopp just hoping for a one-all draw now? For my uh, super six yeah. prediction. You've got to remember, some of these players are probably still in pre-season mode and that. And even though he's fuming that he's getting taken off, it's probably for his own good. Yeah. He'd slowed down the last Because you wouldn't minutes. take him off at 1-1 if there wasn't, an, you know, something out. You might if you were happy with the point. Yeah, and I think Liverpool would be happy with a point given the way the yeah. second half's gone. I think since Chelsea's goal, Chelsea have been the better yeah, team. Been all over and we've Probably should have scored, brilliant. but here we go. Darby Nunes really. has beaten a man, got the ball into the box. Oh, it's too easy. It's too easy. He's just Stop it, Thiago. Erratic. Stop it. Sometimes wow. that works If he makes him. that pass. Wow. Oh. Just needed to get it to Sterling there. Oh, no. Mate, we've been just too... What good. have you... Um, again, far too early to make any judgments, but what have you made of Shabbos Lies... Performance uh, tidy. I think Liverpool played well overall. Really, I think Chelsea have been the better team this half. Oh look, we're just too good. They can try all they like, but we are just too good. I th- I'm now, <clears throat> look, I'm going to ask you the question, and I don't want to say too much because I'm biased. But are you now worried that Chelsea are coming for the league? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, maybe you should. I think be. you're fine. Maybe for that, a top that's what we want. Like you, you that's what you. we want you to think. I think Chelsea <laughs> could have a very, very good season. This yeah, season. I don't see how we don't win at least two trophies. <laughs> Excellent defending. Oh. I think Chelsea could have a very good season, especially once you add Moises Caicedo to this team. 
all and I'm and, thinking and about it. It's still one all draw. You're not even winning the game. So you're going really, on about it. So you're really you're, worried. So you're, Man, you were talking about look, look, he's going to get about he's going to the front foot here. You were talking about how great Liverpool looked when he was. Yeah, they did for 20 minutes, and we were just finding off feet. And now, when the first half, yeah, look, things changed. Dummy the header, unbelievable. Unbelievable stuff. <laughs> he did for fuck Unbel- no, he dummied the header. He tricked you as well as the player. <laughs> oh, Trick- oh, it's oh, Connor. No dramas, Connor. Too wow. easy. That's a great Superb thing. Connor, son. He's a workhorse, isn't he? Oh. Oh. It was a good, he was pretty good. Though. He's had a good game. He's he's a, good he's Why do you think of his hair? A little player. man bun? I prefer it to that. Nah, Mudrick. Michaela Mudrick's hair looks a lot better. No, he, he has a part. So he, he looks like Dixie Dean. You know Dixie Dean's like hair. He used, to be, weird, he used to be the record goal scorer in the Division yeah, One. Yeah, it was him. Actually. Yeah. Was it him? Was it yeah, Dixie? Yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, remember that been, film, Small yeah. Soldiers? Mudrick looks like one of them. <laughs> small Soldiers. <laughs> yeah. I do remember. They came alive. Yeah, those yeah. little cut, those toy little soldiers. You call Small Soldiers? No, that's the Eminem song. You're thinking of the Eminem song, right? Step by step. Yeah. Yeah. Harry Kane. What an idiot. Yes. No. Right. I don't see how you we got, don't... Who's, who's right, 10 about? minutes to win the game here now. Oh, chill while's injured now. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad news because that means Cucurella. That, then, then Wait, it's, then Chilwell brought... and James are injured in the first game of the season. <laughs> this is so vintage re- Chelsea. We're so... Let's spend a billion quid, lads, to come top half of the table this season. No. Come on, lads. Billion quid. I don't see how we don't finish. 12-year contracts. Mate, you know that we're now going to challenge for the league. You're terrified the way... I think you're going to challenge the sign players this. for 15-year contracts. Look at this contract. play. Mate, you've never seen anything like it. How many Mate, years he Brazil got on his deal? Brazil 1970. How many years he got on his deal, this kid? Oh, here we go. Go on, Enzo. Oh, oh stop it, Enzo. What a ball that is. Look at that. Oh, wow, look. Sterling plays it back 15 yards. Oh, look at that left foot as well. Oh, look at that. Thiago Silva, 40 years old. <laughs> look at that. Look, so <laughs> easy. Draw him out. Draw I can't him believe out. I told people... He was younger than me. 32. That is a lack of ball knowledge there. Like, 32 is worrying yeah, from you. I thought he was There's like... a gap in your memory. He'd be like building a team round. Yeah, I thought he was like one of them yeah, things Yeah, he'd be worth where... 200 million quid, yeah. Mark. <laughs> 32. <laughs> I thought he was one of them things where he's like... I still 30, think he's like, that level, by the way. Boovy's going mental and saying he's 50. Well played. Oh, wow. What a centre. I think on his day, That's so funny. he's yeah. top three in the world. Mate, I thought he was 32. How much do you think he's worth, then? Look at this. Bang. Am I, am I lying? He's to top three in the world. Top three in the world. Yeah, centre definitely. But you can't he's sign not. him as a long term. You no, can't sign him. But so just, he's a very much an on his day player. On his day, which is every time he plays. Chelsea massively let him down not qualifying for the Champions League. Like yeah, in his he, final few seasons, he, he deserves to be played. Yeah, yeah. No, but he deserves to be playing in the Champions League. Your man played well today, didn't he? He's the main man. The absolute boy. Chocolate King. maker. King of kings. Sterling. But you have no... You, you didn't well. think Sterling should have started. No, Sterling done well. He played very well. Played really well, like really impressed. That is that give you confidence? Yeah, it's exactly it's exactly what we need. Oh, now look, now Mudrick's look. on now. Matson's, Everyone's been excited uh, about Mudrick, Mudrick and Matson. Matson's from the academy. Matson is Matson is the boy. Yeah, he was at Burnley last year. <sighs> right, yeah, yeah. He's Danish. Is that him there? Twenty-seven. Uh, yeah, he, he he was in the uh, championship team of the year. Vincent Company really wanted him, and and you know what? He's played he's, he's played in all positions. Like you know this four-two-three-one. Yeah, I remember saying he's, he's like, played on the right, yeah, the left. Yeah, yeah. Through the middle. He's Polly. brilliant. Polly. <laughs> yeah. He's got some of the worst tattoos I've ever seen yeah, in my life. What uh, does it say on that? Uh, what, what, live, love, laugh, and and live love, laugh and all that. Yeah. Terrible. YOLO on his uh, yeah, yeah. knuckles. Yeah, he's... Do you follow... <laughs> you, no reason why you would, but do you follow him on social media? No. Yeah. All the Arsenal fans probably still do. Remember that? Oh, God. Oh. That was around January, wasn't well, it? They, they, uh, they got lucky there. They kept signing. tweeting about them and posting about them, didn't they? Oh, them. look at that. Is that Sabozlai? No, no it's, oh, it's Nunes. Nunes, you pillock. You can tell it's Nunes. It's the camera angle. The shot off. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> wow, oh, what a ball go. that is. <laughs> here we go. Ben Chilwell's running. He's not injured then. That's Good a ball. lovely a ball. ball. Oh, it's still there. I don't see oh. how he... Oh. <laughs> Van Dyke did well it? eventually. Van Dyke hoofing it. Oh, Terrified. Touch, touch. Look at this. Touch. A it's a filth. <laughs> You've got to give that earlier, When they don't there, give don't it, you? yeah, like that. Delay. Like why have you let him win it and then He's go trying to be centre of attention. They all are. Why are you pretending to be shocked, you idiot? He looks smart today. He's not in, a tr- he's not in uh, joggers. I mean, he's l- he is. He's not, is he? Is he in joggers? He's got a t-shirt. Oh, a he's wearing a cap. Mate. If he hasn't got joggers on with that t-shirt, <laughs> he's wearing looks mental. I'm wearing a cap. He's wearing, he's no. I just can't find one that fits my head. Would you? No, I need to get an XXL I cap. don't understand people who Yeah, wear we need to ha- give, a, give a shout out to New Era to make a customised hat for Boobie. I'm not wearing it. <laughs> Him and Harry Maguire. I'm not wearing wear New Era. If, do anything you want. If you get brands or whatever, well, I'm not wearing hats. I'll wear a pork pie hat only. What's a pork pie hat? A hat called a pork pie one. 
That's Madrid, really nice one, Madrid. slams it into really the defender. Well can't even beat the Mate, first man. He, well it's, it's all a process, man. We're mil. building. He's trying mil. to keep the pressure on. It's an eight-year exactly process. He's, he's, he's on an eight-year contract. Doing exactly what he's trying to do, though. Jesus. Yeah, his barnet is terrible. He's got a part in. Part. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Yeah, it's Dixie right. Dean's hair, isn't it? It is yeah, Dixie, Dixie Dean's Dean. hair. Oh, Everton fans go on about him. In 1909, he was scoring 100 goals a season when everyone's smoking 20 a day. Marlborough. Marlborough Doesn't goal. mean it's not an achievement, though, because he probably was as well. No, it's, it's, yeah. an it's an achievement, you know, playing against centre rounds that are smoking all the time. It's no, he would have been smoking. You don't know that? How do you know he's you don't, smoking? How do you know he would have been smoking? But I'm making a generalisation because a lot you, of people were smoking back then. You're making way more than 20 a day. Yeah, 40 a day and all that. Some of the best, day some now, of the best footballers you've ever seen, smokers. Gianluca yeah. Vialli. Gianluca yeah. Vialli. Yeah. Vialli. 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 Yeah. Jack Wilshire. Oh, Wilshire's a, a smoker. Why are you bringing Jack Wilshire into this conversation? Because yeah. I remember him smoking. Just I'm just thinking of made. players I can He's remember. He's coaching now at Arsenal, isn't he? He's coaching the under it was, ones. Is it Paul Merson? Paul, Paul Merson speaks about it in his book. You know when he went to Arsenal? He when sorry when when all the French players started arriving at Arsenal, like Gilles Grimondi and that, he was he was totally baffled because he'd be like like he'd be He'd be drunk, right? He'd be really boozing, ten pints and all that. And he'd go into and he'd be with the French lads, and they'd all be pissed, bold and whoever parlor. And they go, hey, "Them boys, they're so unprofessional. Look at them all smoking." <laughs> and all the French boys are sitting there, like just having like a tiny little drink or whatever, and uh, and loads of fags. They go, "Gan, look at them little pissed." <laughs> <laughs> look how good we are, my God. There's a little moment there. Mudrick does one two a uh, one two a couple of times. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's, he's that's, changed a lot. Mate, he's that's improved. What, that's what we are now. So watch out. What drawing one or your mid table oh, in the Premier League? No, week one of the, your, mate, your mid your mid we'll game. We're, we're going to win this game. Gonna gonna this we will win this game. You're just oh above Luton. We're going to win this game. You're just above Luton. No, we're going to win the game. You're in a few look, positions look, above look, Luton Town. Look, look, our game is still in process. Isn't that weird to think you're just a few places above? Well, everyone is. But Luton Town are in the Premier League. Yeah, Luton Town are no. We're miles above Luton Town. I really want you to be right. To be fair, you know me questioning things like that. Saying the league when out the window. Trust me. When out the window when I saw Man City win a trophy. I really. You know them whole questions. When you say Luton are in the league. Yeah, they went out yeah, the window yeah, when yeah, I saw yeah, you. Luton like, have serious. never played Division One football. We've won the no, Division no, One title and we've won the, the FA Cup multiple times before like, the takeover. Once I've seen that happen, anything can happen. Well, it's not because you made a completely incorrect statement. No, it's not. You have. I, I really, I, obviously, I've said that they'll go down in my prediction, but I would love Luton to stay up. Oh, I really want them to. Get, I, get I, rid. I, I, well, no what's way. our first stream for Luton? We need to know when it yeah, you know, so everyone can tune in. I love that. Not, Come on, crazy game. Luton. Long ball. Luton, Luton Man Long United. Ball, they beat, the best. They beat no. you. I can't yeah. wait till they beat Man no. United. I can't wait. They'll beat, they'll beat Chelsea this season. I we'll think they'll do beat Luton you. Luton. No gas. They'll beat you. No, I want to do it. Because we saw United last we're season when the Luton. chips were down. Doing when the chips were down, you got smashed seven and all that. Luton Luton beat Man United. One nil. Nick it one nil. Yeah, we, we went to the playoff final and I was gutted they beat Coventry. No, but they, they were yeah, both Coventry terrible. would have been shit as well. No, but Luton, Luton... At least they got some heritage in the, you know, no, but talk Luton, about Luton Chippo and Hadji and that. Luton, Luton deserve it. Luton have been fantastic. Luton, remember, Luton were a founding member of the Premier League. Luton were in the Premier League as a founding member. Mm. But we don't want them back. I think Notts County were as well as it goes. Swindon? Notts County. Not Swindon, I don't think. Oh, Are you on about not, the Football League? No, founding member of the Premier League. Yeah, Notts County were in the Premier League. Luton. Not County have never played Division One football, uh, Premier League football. No, not no. Not County were fa the founding members of the football league. Yeah, that's what you're yeah. saying. Yeah, but no, we don't know if you're saying two Premier League. points being made simultaneously, mate. You've got to give yeah, He didn't know. Adam didn't know. <laughs> God, so you know, you know, you not just County. you randomly say you know, things. If I didn't connect with one of them, you just say Adam did. <laughs> Adam didn't know what you're about either. Do you? <laughs> What? Juventus copied Notts County's kits. Yeah. Yeah, because they used to be um, on the back of encyclopedias all the time. Yeah, that's interesting. Little, yeah. little fact. Do, do you know they're in the League Two now, aren't they? Got promoted recently. Do you back know in the Football League, I mean. There's a team. <laughs> I'm just trying to make a point about football. What like, are you chatting about? Notts County weren't in the Football League. They were founder members of the Football League. They got promoted this summer to the Football League. Say Football League again. Yeah, well, I care about the football league. You guys care about being, you know, billionaires in your little ivory tower. City, City fans City care Man. about real football. We care about you lot billionaires. Yeah. Shake yeah. Mansour went to Spain in yeah. a Lamborghini. Your, your, they, sing yeah. they, they sing that. Yeah. They sing that. They sing about yeah. Shake. They sing that. They sing about a Shake going to Spain in a Lamborghini. Yeah, it's, it's just, That's what yeah, they sing yeah, about. It, it, you a lot. Joke. There's a, it's a joke. It's an ironic joke. Oh, no, okay? it's joke. You guys are actually obsessed with money and you're obsessed with five-star hotels and going on private jets and all that. City fans love Pellegrini. You ask City yeah. fans when we were terrible. City fans loved it. You guys couldn't hack it in the championship. You couldn't hack it. Go on. You, you get all emotional. This hole. <laughs> you get all emotional. Oh! Oh. <laughs> Thank God that's Nunes. Nunes has got a touch of an absolute <laughs> he's, donkey. He's awful, isn't he? 
Wait, that was like the best chance that you could like. I don't think people are going to focus on that. That was literally the dream. Look at that. The ball comes at you. Mate, he couldn't slow. ask for more. Look where he stood. He's in the perfect position. In the middle of the goal. Look, 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 Touch look, that. Look, look. <laughs> on his right Mate, foot as well, isn't it? That is absolutely the dream. Look at that. He touched look. it on your right foot. He's right footed, isn't it? Oh, just lob the keeper then. God. Bring it down over the keeper's head. That's what I'd have done. That, that was a goal. Football. I, I kind of wanted to help him out and say McAllister's no, pass was a no, bit no, high, no, but no. Jesus, you've got to. No, he's got to. He's he's got got to bring that it doesn't matter how it's fisted him in that position. He's a 90 million pound Control of football. Simple. They spent 90 mil on that. They did. Football's gone crazy. You like, I'm going to ban you from money. Yeah, stop Why? saying Just pricing. banning you from prices. Because it's just Because your club's guilty of uh, blowing no, no, a load of money yeah, on yeah, yeah. rubbish. Yep, we yeah, there yeah, is a point, actually. <laughs> Zacho makes a great point. He says, Soul Boovy, did you ever take Adam and Rory to Ibiza? Hmm? Remember you were saying all last season? Well, I, 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 I was going, going to. Ibiza. Yeah, but Adam, I was. But you went missing for about six weeks. I had to do the club with Rory for six weeks because you were uh, going around different places. So I would have taken you, mate, but it is what it is. So you, you, you took Rory is what you're saying? No, I didn't take Rory because, oh. uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not... It's us three, lads. It's us three, and it's not just us two. I mean... We're here. It now. was for most of the summer, but that's. A We're here now. We have got international break coming up soon. Oh, I don't. You, you don't want to, I went to Ibiza. Ibiza or... No, but it gets cold uh, in Ibiza in September, October. No, no, no. I went, no, I went, we I went, we I went in October last that. year. It was cold last. year. No, you don't want to go to beach season. cold. You don't want to go to beach. We've missed Ibiza this summer. We'll do it next summer. But we'll see, won't we? I don't mind a little bit of. But will you be in the country? I didn't see you for about two months. It's the Euros in Germany next next yeah. summer. Let's go to Bavaria. Have a few pints. Beautiful. <laughs> <They're> beautiful. <laughs> You'd look good in the old Leder Hosen. Do you think? Yeah. No, I don't know. I, I think you I would. Know, you, do you, look, look as, you got a you bit of a German look Kane. about you. I'm part German. You'd look as good as Kane, would you? I am. Huh? Do you, do you want to go to a Bob Munich game, support Kane? I'd look as good as uh, Harry Keane trying to speak German to that ref last night. No, that was funny. <laughs> I was just baffled, wouldn't it? He went over. He's like, he was like, mate, mate, yeah. uh, that was a farmer. You know, I saw uh, a very funny tweet that was the German word for referee. And the comment on it was just like, yeah, this geezer's got no chance. What was the German word? It's really referee? difficult. And the comment, it just goes, yeah, this geezer's got no chance. <laughs> Whatever the German word for it is, it, it was like the, the male version of it and the, and the female version of it. And Harry Kane could definitely say neither. German's so hard. There's so many like different versions of words. Words. <laughs> yeah. He's offside! You found it. Schiedsrichter. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Harry Kane's Sh gone over and gone. Can I, can I read it? Schlitzrichter. Yeah, that's easy, that. Go yeah. say it. Schlitzrichter. <laughs> yeah, see? No, it's terrible. You put a couple owls in there. <laughs> you just made it up. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful word. They what can't give a handball for, for yeah. that. He's off the pitch. Imagine Look where they he's come win from. this now. Imagine this. That's win not this. a penalty, though, obviously. He's offside, might, isn't it? That's a pen, isn't it? No, Schlitzrichter would be offside. Nah, be offside. Stupid. <laughs> Who's it crestballed at them that? Went off the pitch, come back on the pitch. I can't remember. I mean, I love that. End of the pitch. Dean Saunders, definitely. I can't remember. I'm sure Crespo that Dom. Dean Saunders. He was off the pitch. Chelsea played on. He come back on the pitch. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It was. Yeah, yeah. But it was here. It was at the other end. Oh, was it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Saunders won the worst pundits going. Dean Saunders. Yeah, he's crap. You can tell he was a rubbish manager as well. You know why? Because you know when people talk about, oh, should the manager get sacked? He always goes, ah. The players are just stopped running and just, you know, and he's always, that's what someone says when you know they don't have the words to motivate a dressing room or like. Yeah, who did he manage? Any clubs? Uh, Warsaw. Warsaw. Uh, Bradford? Bradford. Bradford. Yeah. Mark Hughes is at Bradford. Yeah. It's not weird. Did you see one oh, of I the players Mark try it with him? And he, Mark yeah. Hughes yeah. 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 I love yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. You know when it's trying to No, Mark, Mark Hughes will Mark beat you Mark Hughes will beat you up. Mark Hughes will beat you up. He'll beat you Mark Hughes will beat you up. Love Mark Hughes so much. It's that simple, isn't it? He's one of the... He's, he, I'm not suggesting that he is the best, but you know when we talk about like some of the best yeah. players who have played in the Premier League, his name is never mentioned and it's ridiculous. Because he kind so of... so good. Obviously, he left Man United, went to Chelsea and kind of things. And Man United had so many great strikers. So when we talk about strikers, he kind of gets lost in the midst. But if you remember the Cup Winners' Cup... Uh, against Barcelona, he scored yeah. United's goals. He scored in that the goal short. against Oldham to get you to the final against mm. us. Volley played ba played for Barcelona as played well. Played for Barcelona uh, and Bayern Munich. Yep, huge. No, he's an amazing. He's an amazing player, and also he's he's actually he is actually one of Chelsea's better. Like he's one of our best ever strikers. Like if you did a list of if you did a list of maybe ten, he's on it. Like his contribution, Chelsea winning that trophy in Stockholm on ninety eight season, he was amazing. Uh, Nunes just had a shot deflected quite narrowly wide and Klopp's a bit excited. Yeah, I think I th there was a moment where I think he thought he was going in. Who's that dork? Running around with oh, you. Terrible fucking dork. <laughs> that player called Dork there. Dork. 
Stor Bandok. Kom og sådan. <laughs> yes! Wow! Go on! Go on! Go on! Yes! Go! Oh! Yes! Yeah! I told you we're gonna win this! Yes! Go! Oh! That's so funny. Who <laughs> missed it? Who missed it? I can't see. Madrid. Madrid. Of course it was. To be fair, he did well because once he went around the keeper, he had to keep it in and keep it alive. Oh, Chelsea here. I mean, it's end to end still. Minute and a half we left to go. We are unbelievable. We are... I just don't see how anyone stops us. I mean, Liverpool are stopping. You're drawing one all against an average Liverpool side. Don't get... It's look, I can tell the fear in your tongue. You're so scared. Scraping look at the you. point. You're, pe you're petrified. Scraping the point. Look at you. You're pathetic, man. You're just so scared. <laughs> Wimpy. Wimpy, man. <laughs> so scared. <laughs> You're so scared. Look at this. I, I can tell how scared you are. Yeah. You know, in your voice, there's this like tone of fear. tone of fear. Yeah. Um, Enzo Fernandez has been given a Sky Sports Player of the oh, what a ball. Oh. Player of the match. Agreed. Just yeah, he's been. Yeah, on I him. mean, I think there's been a. I'd say, I'd say almost every player in blue could happily be man Miss of the Jackson, match. Miss Jackson, I thought was pretty good. Uh, I've Conor Gallagher has been fantastic. Thiago Silva has been fantastic. They're all man of the match for me. <laughs> there are there are eleven man of men of the match. Men of listen. By the way, as well, if you're at home, download the Super 6 app right now because when this game finishes, we've got a little bit of something to tell you and you want to be part of Super 6 and in our league, Club 23. So get Love in it. our mini league. We've got a big announcement coming up. Plus the winner oh. of that grand as well is going to be announced. Although right now, as it stands, we mentioned the name earlier and you know he's probably watching, knows who he is. Could be about to win a bag of sand if a goal isn't scored in the next 30 seconds. We are um, just so good. I can't, my mind is blown. This is some of the best football that I think the league has seen. Look, Klopp's terrified. He's like you. You should give him a call. You two could have a chat. Everything all right on the phone there? Yeah, just, just chilling I'm just, out. I'm just phone. checking the you Super know, 6 because no, no, obviously we were sponsored by Super 6. Thanks so much to Super it's 6. It's full time. We're back in the channel. Between Chelsea and Liverpool, it is one. No, one all draw. Us. Come no, on. believe us. We're going to win well, the league. Mid-table, you're just above That'll Luton do me. Town. Liverpool drop points. Chelsea drop points. That'll do uh, Liverpool got a point. Liverpool gained a point. Chelsea dropped two points. Liverpool gained a point. Happy with Poch's first oh. game in charge? Mate, we are... This is it. This is our year. <laughs> I don't see how anybody stops us now. That was some of the best football that you could possibly hope for. Young, vibrant, dynamic team, full of desire. The last Your time someone said terrified. this is it, by the way, were Michael Jackson's promoters of his tour. And, and he that, was right. And that tour didn't. It was it. It was it. He's right. <laughs> he was completely correct. <laughs> was it? Um, He's completely right. Guys, nobody won the million pound <laughs> this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> what are you on about? Michael Jackson, I, I misheard that. What are you on about? I bought tickets. I'm still fuming. You're, he never made it. Sometimes I'm um, just the man looking into the mirror. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is not a How thriller. many you got, Cora? Huh? Any more? Any more, uh, any more no, puns? I'm Come not on. a massive Michael Jackson fan. Have you got any more puns, though? You must have one more. You one, are, more uh, one more before we go. Uh, sometimes we when I'm around you lads, I, I love to beat it. <laughs> <laughs> you can say goodbye. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Thank you so much. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Thank you so much for We're Super 6 for backing that. We're not ready. Not ready. We're huh? not, why are you saying goodbye? We're not ready. <laughs> that was... You should have said, no said wrap up. That, Nobody said wrap it pause up. All I want to wrap up after said, that. I want to no, wrap up I after that. Mate, no what are you doing? You're a man. You're has like never, that's a Michael Jackson Bo song, lads. Boovie has never beat okay. in front of me and Rory. Yeah. For the record. Sorry, Super 6. It sounds a bit By the way, one million pound jackpot was not won this weekend. It is rolling over. So next week on Super 6, someone could win so a million. So the million pounds is rolling over. Somebody could end up with a million pounds in their account. All they have to do is predict six scores correctly. And Make sure that you sign up to Super 6 now. Get on the app, Club S. You can do your predictions for the next round from 6.45 <laughs> today. Those fixtures, Liverpool, Bournemouth, Wolves, Brighton, Spurs, Man United, which we're live for, Man City versus Newcastle, which we're live for, Villa, Everton, West Ham, Chelsea as well. Download Super 6, join the league, £1 million up for grabs next week. Boovy is going to jump off and beat it right now. Um, Rory. <laughs> 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 Just be it. See you later.